All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, I hope you will invite your friends. Uh, actually, I did not post on Facebook yet. That's we are live on air. So if you don't mind, <clears throat> Uh, tell your friends that we are live on air and let us see if we can get some Muslims or Mohammedans who they can really uh, show us uh, some of their amazing religion or some answers um, you know today I made a video I don't know how many of you saw it uh, challenging a Mohammedan from the Philippines who claim <clears throat> that he is supposedly a person who knows Islam and you know I find those uh, uh, you know I, I love Filipino people this is not not, not the topic so don't take me wrong but it the most funny Muslims is those who don't belong to Islam in any way any mean Islam make fun of them and make fun of their look you know <clears throat> if you go and read what Muhammad he said about the Turkish the Turkish is an Asian people they are not European and not don't look at the Turkish today those are after they invade Constantinia and they rape the Christian women so now their children they are uh, blonde and etc and blue eyes and green eyes but the real Turkish are uh, from Mongolia they are Asian pure Asian Muhammad he described them in a very racist, disgusting way. And then you will find an Asian person who do not know what Islam is about, who don't speak Arabic. He is going to school the Christians about Islam. And he challenged the Christians to give him answers. And you know, we are here. There is somebody, one of you, he sent me a message, says there is a guy, his name is Saleh. He want to debate me the same as I debated, uh, uh, what his name? Uh, Aqil. I did not debate Aqil. This guy is a kid. I spanked him. Uh, the reason the Muslim, they want five minutes, five minutes, because they can play their game, supposedly, right? You do not need the five minutes, my friend. Call me and beat me as much as you want. Let us do it. We do not need even to prepare for it. If you are really a person who have knowledge, then what is the point of saying tomorrow, next week? I mean, now, tomorrow. I mean, why next month? You know, why next year? Why somebody want to debate me? He need to prepare for three months because simply he want to go over the internet to print one hundred papers, and then he, he maybe he think he can make it maybe. Now, we offer this guy who claimed to be a Muslim uh, uh, ustaz, which means uh, master. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I mean, you are an ustaz for sure. This guy, he called himself ustaz. You know, in, uh, in the Middle East, when somebody called himself ustaz, that means he is a donkey. Because people they call you stars, you don't call yourself a stars. You know what I mean? If you start calling yourself, giving yourself titles, that means you are a false person. Now today I challenge this Abdul to come and debate me, and the answer right away came from this Abdul as the following. Let me show you in the screen. Uh, here we go. Your comment on Ahmed Bar Salon post was marked as a spam. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Now we posted the video for him in his Facebook. He made himself he did not see it. Uh, we posted text in his Facebook, and he is there. You know, I I saw his post. Uh, three seconds after after our post in his Facebook, so he is there, he's on air, uh, on online. But you know, for sure, he will not see my post. I mean, come on. This guy, he will see post of American people only. I am not American. He is the same as his brother Rashid in the in the sand. Now I want to show you a joke. 
I want to show you what kind of teaching the Muslim Abdul from those countries they fooled their followers with it. Let me show you. This is his post. I want to show everybody that every Muslim who claim knowledge he is stupid until he proved the opposite. This person he is posting for his fellow Muslims the following image. Please read with me carefully. The Jews. This is supposedly an image of the Jews. The Jews entered in Palestine as refugees with no clothes and no shoes. Today they claim Palestine belonged to them. I mean, this is the most hilarious, funny, stupid story. Abdul, the one you are seeing there, they did not enter with no shoes, you idiot. Those refugees coming from Europe and they are landing in the beach and they are wearing suit. Do you see it? Do you see anyone there is naked? They are landing in the beach. And this guy, he is tying up his pant up so it doesn't get wet. I mean, even the picture itself. I mean, you, you Muslims are really stupid. Seriously. What is the naked ones who have no shoes? <laughs> <laughs> I love it Abdul the one who came as refugee is your prophet to the city of Yathrib which is the city of the Jews and now your prophet and you Muslims claim that this is your city is that true or I'm lying Muslims Muhammadan is that a true or I'm lying is it true that your prophet came to Yathrib, the city of the Jews, as a refugee? And the stupid Jews at that time, they accept him as refugee? And now you Muslims claim that the city is your city and you change the name of the city? What a big fat liars. Don't the Muslims they say to us that Muhammad he attacked the caravans because the, the, the people of Quraysh took his money. Okay, so what Muhammad came to Yathrib to the Jews, what he have? He have his shoe? Aren't you Muslim? They say to us, the Prophet he attacked the tribe of Quraysh caravan because they kicked him out of from the city and they left with everything in the city. They they, they gone with their shoes only. So who is the one who came to Medina or Yathrib without shoes? Hypocrite? Liars? Stupidity? Those people in front of me, they are wearing nice clothes in, in, in case you do not see. They are wearing suits. When, when, when the Arab don't have underwear, Abdul, those people are wearing suits. Don't you see it? Like, do you see this one in the front as an example? The first one. Do you know what he's wearing? This guy is wearing a suit. Abdul. Abdul, yeah, Abdul. I love you, Abdul. I mean, you are a stupid donkey, Lul. <laughs> Abdul, yeah, Abdul. <laughs> this guy is a swimming. Those are people who cross the the mediterranean sea and they land in the sea and you know at that time there's no port etc so people land in the beach and they walk in the water and they you know anyway unbelievable 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 muslims are so cute i want to grow them in my backyard but the city is not allowed in me now <clears throat> we will move to other challenge for this potato and don't take me wrong i love to eat potatoes as long this guy he is saying that this land is not the land of the Jews so how come his God in the Quran says that this is the land of the Jews hello hello it's me you are looking for I mean Muslims who is the donkey now is it your God in the Quran Mr. Mr. Ahmed Barcelino, Barcelona, Sherlock Holmes. Hmm? Is it your God? You claim to be a sheikh. May Allah shake you. Hmm? May Allah shake you and make you sheesh kebab. 
<laughs> you know, I, I, I want to go to Islamic websites. I'm, I'm going to ask the Muslims some, like, I'm, I'm going to do some search. Sometimes I ask myself, you know, the, the prophet of Islam, according to Muslims, he is dumb, not dumb. Some people, they told me, don't say dumb, dumb, say dumb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> dumb and dumb is the same, my friend. Just think about it. You told us that your prophet do not know how to read, how to write. But you told us that your prophet was a Wikipedia. He knows things nobody knows. Yes, he was not in the time of Jesus, but he know what Jesus said. Time in that was not in exist in the time of Moses, but he knows what Moses said. Now, what Muhammad said about the land of the Jews. If we go to the Quran right now, we find that Allah in the Quran in chapter 5, verse number 21 said, Let us go there first. All right. Spanking day. Don't forget, guys, to invite your friends. And if you are a Muslim, you can invite, invite your four wives. Even if they are like children wives, it's okay. Ya qawm, udkhulu al-ard al-muqaddas al-lati katab Allahu lakum. Wala tartaddu ala adbarikum fatanaqalibu khasirin. <laughs> Shish kebab verse chapter 5 verse number 21 what this verse is saying let us read the Muslims translation because the Muslims don't accept the Christian Prince translation for always he changed the translation as they claim remember who is talking Allah and when Allah he said remember that's mean there is something a disaster is going to happen I mean he will say something nobody knows remember Moses remember Moses says to his people oh my people call in remembrance the favor of Allah into you but this guy he just said those people they don't have shoes but the Quran says that Allah favored them upon all mankind ah. Allah was trying to make the Jews hippies this is why he don't want them to wear shoes <laughs> So this verse is speaking about Moses and his people. Who is the people of Moses? The Quran called them the children of Israel. I mean, Abdul, what your God saying in the Quran is the most stupid thing against you. I'm not saying he's wrong, by the way. I'm saying a stupid thing against you, which means you are the stupid one. If your God, he called the Jews, the children of Israel. Question, who is Israel and where he live? Any Abdul is around. Do we have any Abdul around? Ya Bani Israel, idhukuru ni'mati allati an'amtu alaykum. Oh, oh, children of Israel. <laughs> Oh children, oh mommy, oh mommy, mommy. All those verses in front of us are speaking about the favor of the of uh, over the children of Israel. But I like this verse, chapter two, verse number forty-seven, because it says the following. Read, read carefully with me. Read carefully with me. Oh, that's deep. That's deep, man. That's horrible. Children of Israel. Who is talking? Allah. Not a guy from the Philippines. Children of Israel, call to mind the special favor which I bestowed on upon you, and that I preferred you of all other. And what my message is? Uh, it says in Arabic, by the way, Allah alamin, which means all mankind. Not only mankind, actually, even the, the mankind and the genie kind. So Allah in the Quran saying, calling the Jews. The children of Israel and the Quran confirmed that they are favored upon mankind the Muslim they say to us that the Jews are fascist why because they think they are better than others the Quran says that Abdul it's your God saying that 
but because you Muslims are a bunch of ignorant you do not even know what is written in your book you say things will make you look like a fool so O children of Israel call to mind my favor which I bestowed in you I made you I made you excel the nations which mean all the nations the Jews are the favorite people of Allah. If, 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 if. How much love are there? <laughs> why, why? Any Muslim can tell me why Allah He favored the Jews and why He called them Israel. Why He don't call them Jews? Any Muslim can tell us? And where is the land of Israel located? There's a nation now. It's called the nation of Israel, according to your Quran. And it's called the nation of Israel because they are a son of a man. His name is Israel. If we search the whole Quran, we cannot find who is Israel. Do you believe it? I mean, how stupid the book of, oh, sorry, the author of this book to speak about a guy, his name is Israel, but he don't tell us who is Israel. Who is Israel? Hey, Abdul, do you know who is Israel? I'm, uh, I will lead the Hadith. Are you sure? <laughs> I thought the Quran is a perfect book. I thought anything you want my brother to know it's in the Quran the Quran mentioned there's a guy his name is Jacob but suddenly the Quran is switched start talking about the children of Israel but who is Israel and where he live do we have any Muslim would like to call me life do we have any Muhammad and he dare to call me life Guys, do you think we can get a, a, a Muhammadan to call me? Do you think we can get lucky today? You see, what I do here is the same as fishing. I remember once I went to do fishing, and there was a kid who's like seven, eight years old doing fishing in the same side I'm standing. And this kid, he get a fish every 10 minutes. And I look at him, I'm waiting there for an hour, I got nothing. And each time he get a fish, he put his tongue out for me. <laughs> <laughs> he was very cute and I was laughing but the funny this kid I mean uh, he is getting lucky with the fish I wasn't getting lucky with the fish and I cannot fish for Muslims so my fishing is not good in the sea is not good in the lake is not good here <laughs> when my when my luck was going to change and I started getting Mohammedan to debate me so who is the smart Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge. I don't want to see you. I don't want to use the word balls. Because, you know, Muslims, when you speak about balls, they take it differently. You know? Who is the Muslim who don't have balls? Or he have balls? He dare to answer this simple question. The guy, his name is Israel, and his children, where they live. Any Abdul? I see in the front of my eyes your God called in them the children of Israel. It's a simple question. You Muslims have all, have all the history of the world. Actually, I saw a video. It says that the first one discovered Australia, it was the Muslims. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Abdul, can you discover for us first where the children of Israel live? Any Abdul is around? Where the children of Israel live or lived in the time of this verse? Who is the Muslim monotony? What do you mean Egypt? Those are the children of Jacob. What Egypt? Hold on. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. The Muslims have different ideas. Any Muslim want to tell us where Jacob or the guy who his name Israel where he live according to you Muslims okay forget about Jacob forget about Israel the guy his name is Suleiman you know Suleiman Suleiman the guy who speak to the birds
You know, guys, one of the stories of the Muslims about the Prophet Suleiman that once he was walking in his garden and he heard a male bird speaking to a female bird. So Suleiman he said to the uh, his ministers, he said to them, uh, Do you know what he is saying to her? Look, look how Suleiman is smart. He knows he is who is the male, who is the female right away. He is expert. And they said, No. He said to her, he said, This male bird is saying to the female bird, Do you accept to marry? <coughs> To marry me, <laughs> oh boy, it must be a true story. I mean, who can who can say this is not true? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I don't know. I felt like inspiration from Jabril. He came to me and says, "Approve it." Jibril, he said to me, uh, the, you know, you are lying and you approve it. Okay, hold on. Let me turn off my screen. Let me get you the hadith. If you want to take me a few seconds, hold on. Prove it, huh? Ah, prove it. You think I'm a liar like you, Muslims, huh? Ah, no, I don't do that. Okay. All right. Uh, here we go. This is the book of Al Bidaya and An Nihaya to Ibn Kathir. This is not a Christian prince telling the story, Abdul. Hello, I know you. I know you. I know you. I know you. Look at this. Look at this unbelievable story. Marra Suleiman ibn Dawood bi Asfurin yadur wahaula Asfurah. Fakala li ashabihi atadrun ma yaqul. Suleiman passed by by tiny bird. We call him in Arabic Asfur. Huh? He was going around Asfura, which means a female. You know, by the way, I noticed that all of us Middle Eastern, when we see a female, we go around her. We don't talk to her, you know, first, like we go around her. <laughs> no wonder we go around the Kaaba, man. I mean, unbelievable. So Suleiman, he said to them, do you know what he is saying to her? His friends, they said, uh, what he's saying, O Prophet of Allah? Qalu, wa ma yaqulu ya Nabi Allah? Qala, he said, he is engaging her to himself. He is asking her to marry him. And he is saying, marry me. Marry me. And if, I don't know, I don't want to translate this part. This part will kill you. This part, if I translate it, will kill you. <laughs> Should guys, uh, should I translate this part, the second part for you? I'm serious. Should I translate or no? I think it's not good for you. You know what? I am going to copy the text as it is because some of you might say there is no way it says that. I'm going to copy the text as it is. All right. And I will go to Google Translation. Uh, sir, should go. Well, hold on first. <clears throat> uh, okay, this is Al Bidaya wa Nihaya. I uh, know we want to go to Google Translation. Hold on, hold on. Google Translation, face up on you. Google Translation. All right. We go to Google Translation, and I'm going to copy the text in the front of your eyes, copy paste. So you will see I'm not adding a word. Here we go. Let me do it again. This is the text, copy, and here, paste. Bingo. Oof, 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 oof. I did not copy. I did not copy all the text. Hold on, hold on. I missed one line. Oof, that's bad. Let me copy all of it. <clears throat> you guys, you will die from laughing when you see the translation. All right. 
Suleiman, the son of David, he passed by a asfur. Asfur, as I said, it's a small bird. I don't know what they call him in English. I mean, I'm sure there's a name for it. It's a small, like, tiny one. Very popular, you know, everywhere. He said uh, to his companion, do you know what he says? Do you know, really, do you know what he says? They said, what prophet of God he says, what he said, prophet of Allah? He said, he is saying to her, I will give you, if you marry me, you know, I don't know why the translation is not coming, uh, if you marry me, uh, uh, a room in the house of Damascus. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost fed, I almost I fell from the chair. The asfur, the bird, is saying to the, the female bird, If you marry me, I will give you a room in the house of Damascus. Abdul, I mean, this is this is amazing. <laughs> I want to live. I want. I don't want to go to the Moscow's. The bird is seducing the female bird by saying to her, "If you marry me, he is going around her. Huh? He's going around him in a cycle. He's going around like, and he's saying to her." And and you know and the prophet Suleiman is 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 listening like oh, <laughs> he just witnessed uh, uh, you know a proposal for marriage uh, between two birds, and he is the translator because Allah he taught him the language of birds as you know in the Quran, <laughs> and the bird. Not only he is offering her a room in Damascus. Look, but Suleiman he is saying this bird is a liar. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like converting to Islam today. I don't know. I mean, it's time to convert, man. If this bird is lying to her. You see that, that Suleiman, he knows. Suleiman, he knows. He noticed that this bird, he doesn't even live in Damascus. <laughs> if, 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 this is too much. This is too much, man. Unbelievable. I. I mean, how how you can see this and you don't profit? Because this story is coming from the Prophet Muhammad, the wise man. His fabulous story is beyond imagination. You know, guys, once, I don't know if I should share this story with you or not because it's kind of personal. And, you know, I don't like to share personal stuff with strangers. But you know we are friends here. I mean, all of you are just YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. I mean, you know. So once I was walking down street, and uh, you know, uh, I mean, I saw, and I heard actually before I saw. I heard two cows are talking to each other. I don't know if you noticed. There is a first mm, and there is a second. Mm. The first one is the female, the second one is the male, the one is higher voice. Listen again. The first female, she was rejecting the proposal from a male who is a cow. And the reason she refused, because he cannot afford her to live in one of those rooms in Damascus. Obviously, at that time, everybody want to live in Damascus. I mean, no matter if you are a male or a female, donkey or a cow, bird or a king, everybody desperate to move to Damascus. <laughs> all right, all right. <clears throat> Abdul. Come on, guys, just hold on. To show respect. The Prophet of Allah is telling a story, and it's a true story. I mean, I have witnesses for the story. We have witnesses. We have tons of witnesses for with the, you know, I mean, you know, amazing that the Prophet Muhammad, he was not exist in the time of Suleiman, but he know this story. 
What do you, what, what do you think, Muslims, where do you think Muhammad he got this, this story from? Of Allah. And why Allah telling him this story? I mean, Allah told him once upon the time, Suleiman was walking in his garden and he saw a bird and the bird was speaking to a female bird and the first bird she said to the female bird are you willing to engage to me and marry me the female bird she said to him huh why i want to marry you do you have furniture do you have like a nice housing a car something are you going to buy me iphone as an example iphone x or I iphone 11 uh, the bird he knew what women like so he told her, if you marry me, I will give you a room in Damascus. Oh, oh, I mean, this is, there is no way this female, by, by the time he finished saying the room in Damascus, I guarantee you that this female bird, she took off her panty. Unbelievable. All right, all right, all right. Just that's it, that's it. Come on, show some respect. You know, two birds and they have a date. What's your problem? <laughs> now I know why no one want to marry me, no women want to marry me because I don't have a room in Damascus. Each time I ask a girl to marry me, she said, Do you have a room in Damascus? I said, No. She said, Okay, and nice to meet you. Bye bye. If now finally I get the answer now listen we want to go back to the topic as long we have a king his name is King David and we have a king his name is King Suleiman my challenge to the followers of the moon God Allah where we can locate the kingdom of David and the kingdom of Suleiman guys is that a legitimate question isn't it? They say that David was a king. The Muslims they announced they they, they 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 don't have any shame to say that David was a king and Suleiman he was a king. Okay, the very simple question: their kingdom was where? Any Abdul? Why we have why we don't have a lot of people? We have like a hundred something of people here. Guys, should I build? okay? Hold on. Let me increase the number of people watching the video. Hold on, hold on. I will use the Islamic method. Hold on. <clears throat> um, I will use the profit method. The same method he made to make people do jihad for him. I will use it. <clears throat> Give me a second. I'm looking for a bird. Look at this. I found a method. Uh, uh, this is too much. I'm trying to find something more acceptable. <laughs> something. Oof. No, no, not this one. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Not this one, too. This one, this one will not bring me only Muslims, will bring me mosquitoes. Uh, uh, <clears throat> okay, let us get some versions here. If there is any Muslim would like to debate this female, imagine if the one who want to debate the Abdul is this woman in here, a uh, bikini. How many Muslim from Burkini Faso, Faso is going to come to debate immediately and he will start challenging her? 
I mean, why I cannot find somebody to debate me, but those females, they can find all the Muslims in the world to explain Islam to them. Muslims, this lady, she is going to join us later. Call us. Call us right now. She is virgin. Well, you know what? I will shave my 20-foot beard if this woman is virgin. What talking about, man? <laughs> anyway, anyway. <clears throat> Even the versions of Allah are not versions, and I can prove it. Allah himself, he said, if we want to take a partner to make babies, we will sleep with the hur. <laughs> it was for in the Abdul saying to them they are virgins, but the fact he is having sex with them. But anyway, let us say she is a refurbished version, because that's what Muslim women they do. They go have sex all over, and then before the marriage wedding night, they make a surgery, and uh, suddenly she is a virgin. You know, actually, there's a product very popular in the Middle East. It's called Virgin Again. What this product is, they insert a case made in China in their private part. So when the male he have intercourse is going to break out and will make it look like she is bleeding from losing her virginity. Eesh. True story. You can search it online. It's called Virgin Again. Now, back to the question. You see, I put this uh, picture. Maybe we can get some. Abdul. See, I told you the second I put this picture in. Here we go. We got additional thirty viewer. Unbelievable. I take the picture off. The Muslims will leave. <laughs> okay, let us change it. Let us change the picture. Hold on, hold on. I will change it to something different. <clears throat> Uh, I will change it to a virgin in heaven. A virgin in heaven. Allah, He described. That he will spend one thousand year to make their skin smooth. I wonder what the problem with their skin, which is going to take Allah one thousand year to make it smooth. You know, the Muslim they say to us that Allah He is Almighty God. If He wants something, He say be is going to be. This is what He said in the Quran. He said the similarity of Jesus is the same as similarity of Adam. If Allah says to him, be is going to be. Okay, so why Allah is taking him 1,000 years to make a skin of a woman smooth? Hello? Eh, it's just additional life from the liar Muhammad just to fool those Muslims who they are horny and make them excited that your wives in the heaven, their skin is going to be so smooth to the point you can do skin and the top of it especially if we know that Muhammad he promised the women they will have one I mean sorry the men that their women they will have one mile size ass so imagine you have a wife her ass is one mile and yet it is so smooth if if that's beyond imagination man is more what I am asking for as an Arab now we go back to the topic what is the name Abdul of the kingdom where we can locate the kingdom of David and Suleiman? You Muslims, you keep saying that Jerusalem is not the city of the Jews. No problem. You keep saying that the Jews came to Jerusalem, they are not from there and not from Israel, and Israel does not have to do with the Israeli. <laughs> Is it amazing that Israel does not have to do anything with the Israeli? That's amazing. So now, where was the kingdom of David? Do we have any Abdul in the text? He is willing to give us an answer.
Hmm? Who is the Muslim want to give us an answer? Where is the location? You see, when you say a king, King David, hmm? that's mean he is a king. He have a kingdom. That's wonderful. In chapter 2, verse number 251. This in Muslims. I'm just showing you what it says in your book, not my word. Chapter 2, verse number 251. Translation of Yusuf Ali. Okay. By Allah's will, they routed them, and David slew Goliath. Okay, who is this guy Goliath Abdul? Or in Arabic we say Jalud. Any Muslim can tell us me where, where we can find this guy? Hello? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? David is he killed someone, his name is etc. Who is this guy where he live? Who wanna tell me? Any Abdul wanna tell me? Hello? 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 <laughs> you know, when those potatoes don't dare to step to debate me, there is a reason. Because they are stupid and they have official degrees in stupidity. Isn't it your Quran witnessing? In every line, in every verse, that this is the land of the Jews. Huh? Who want to answer us? Who is David, this guy here? And who is the guy David, he slew him? And where this is happening? Who is the Abdul is going to, you know, give us the wisdom of Allah? Huh? <clears throat> Let us go to Google and read some interpretation. <laughs> oh boy. Guys, look what David said to the guy Jalut. David, he stood and he said to him, You are the enemy of Allah, and you are the worst of a dog. If, 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 if. This is what he said to him? Muslims, you were there? Where, where Muhammad, he got this knowledge? David, he stood in the front of Jalut, and he said to him, Hey, Jalut, hey, Jalut listen, Jalut. Jalut, listen to me. Look at me here, here, here. Okay, listen. You are worse than a dog. I mean, are you sure this is what happened exactly? Look like David. He speak like the Arab. <laughs> okay, and then David he took a rock, hmm? and he said, "I'm going to make you shish kebab." Look, look what it says. I'm going to cut your meat pieces. You see, David, he was ISIS too. And then, and then he said, I'm going to feed you up to the birds and to the lions. Eesh, this David is coming. Like, I mean, nothing can stop David. And then, uh, 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 sorry, sorry, that <laughs> my, my mistake. It is, it is the other guy saying that to David. He will cut him pieces and he will feed him to the lions and to the uh, birds. Okay, so David, he answered, he says, you are the enemy of Allah. You are the worst of dogs. And then David, he took a rock and he threw it at him. And he hit him between his eyes. And it came out from the other side of his head. <laughs> and then this guy, he died. Now, for sure, Muhammad is copying the stories about David from, 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 from the Jews. But... 
he is adding his own spices you know here like you know the conversation and what happened and dogs and meat and will cut you pieces you are the you are the worst of the dogs anyway and then uh the story in the front of us and i'm trying to find where this fight happened i mean okay you told us there's a guy you told us his name but shouldn't you tell us he is the king of who where was his kingdom where was the kingdom of david so now we have two kings according to the story one of them is the enemy of david obviously he is an infidel david alayhi salam is a muslim this is why he throw rocks too you know and uh they are screaming at each other but you know the quran is a very stupid book suddenly in the verse there start talking about this guy would not without introduction now how how in the world somebody reading this chapter will understand who is this guy where he is coming from where his location what country he live in any any muslim can tell us where we can get this where where where, where, where exactly this is happening you see in verse number 248 it's speaking about Moses and Aaron and then verse number 49 is speaking about this guy Jalut or Talut and his any of his his army you know I mean there is a jump and then here وَقَالَ لَهُمْ نَبِيَّهُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ بَعَثَ لَكُمْ طَالُوتَ مَلِكًا قَالُوا إِنِّي يَكُونَ أَنَّ يَكُونَ لَهُ الْمُلْكَ عَلَيْنَا طالوت So we have Talut and we have Jalut and we have Balut All those actors in this movie So we have Talut, we have Jalut We have uh, David But the Quran does not say to us Who is Mr. Talut? Who is Mr. Jalud? Who is Mr. David? Where they live? Which country? And what language they are talking and using? Any Abdul? <clears throat> In verse number 4246, look what the verse is saying. Allah, the Jews, they want to do jihad. Let us go to the to interpretation or sorry. When I do jihad. Bethink thee, the leader of the children of Israel after Moses, how they said into the a prophet whom they had. Who is this guy? Who is the prophet they had? Hello? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? The prophet they had. <laughs> let it go, let it go. Set up for us a king, and we will fight in Allah way. If, 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 what is that? The Jews, they are going to fight in Allah way? Man. Do we have any, any Muslim here to explain to us what's happening? I don't know. I, I have a feeling that the one who wrote this chapter, he was eating too much beans. Any Abdul can explain to us who are those people? Who is Talut and who is Jalut? You as a Muslim reading this story in the Quran, how you can tell me who is Mr. Jalut? Any Muslim can tell us who is this guy Jalut? Who is this guy Talut? Who is this guy David? Where they live? Which country? David is a king. A king of which kingdom? Any Abdul? Hello? Hello? Ah, uh, I forgot. I forgot that you Muslims are following a religion. Uh, nobody have answers for it except Allah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> one of the funny, amazing things about Islam, Allah knows best. <clears throat> mm. 
Do we have any of Allah knows best followers here? He would like to call us. Do we? I mean, this this us 24 hours, seven days a week. The land of Israel have nothing to do with the Jews, and the Quran and every statement, every verse is speaking about kingdom exist, which is the kingdom of the Jews in the land of Israel. If we go in the Quran in chapter five, verse number fifty-one, sorry, uh, twenty-one. Look what Allah in the Quran is saying. Support the Allah saying, "At Muhammad." <laughs> Let us see what does that mean. Let us use a Muslim translation so the Muslims will not say he's lying. All right. Oh, my people, enter the holy land which Allah has assigned into you. What, what, what? Allah assigned the land to the Jews, and that is the holy land. Abdul, which land is that? Who is the Abdul when I tell us which land is this land? My Skype is open in case you are a Muslim and you want to call me. All what you need to do, just dial this following number zero zero two zero five zero one zero zero. Just call me in Skype. Debate TV, very simple. All right. Try. Here we go. This is here we go. The address of uh, Skype is there. Who wanna call us live? Who wanna call us live and show us the ignorance of your God and the stupidity of the Muslims who keep denying that this is not the land of the Jews? When your Quran in every line, every chapter saying this is the land of the Jews. Who is the smart Muslim wanna tell me where we can find? The kingdom of David. Maybe it is located in the Philippines in Mindanao. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Oh, hey, oosh. Yeah. That's it. That, I, I have, I, sorry, I guys, I have to mute you. I mean, you have to show respect. You have seriously, you have a problem, you have an issue. I mean, respect that the one is talking is the God of the Abdul, and he say jewels. This is jewelries. So, who is the Muslim want to tell us something useful? Huh? Each time we speak about anything, the Muslim they come to us with the most funny, stupid questions. If we ask them the same questions, you will see how stupid. The one who is asking those questions. Sometimes I ask myself, why Muslims don't ask themselves the same questions they ask us, and try to find answer for it, because their questions is against them. Any Abdul? Abdul. We have a caller. It's hard to believe. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. I hear nothing. Are you there? Hello. Jabril ah. is not helping. <clears throat> try again. Try again. I hope it is a Muslim. So are we going to get the answer? So guys, when a Muslim he says to you that Israel is not the land of the Jews, there's a few questions will make a Muslim feel that he is inside the pressure, a pressure cook. Number one, chapter five, verse 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, confirm that Allah, he ordered the Jews to kill anyone who live in the holy land and take it. And it was assigned to the Jews by name. Number two, the Quran confirmed that David and Suleiman they were kings. 
where is the kingdom of Suleiman and where is the kingdom of David? Very simple questions. And the Muslims have no answer for them. All right. Hello? Hello? Yes, we hear you. You are live on air. Who's talking to me? <laughs> Kashim. Kashim? Okay, Mr. Kashim, how are you doing? I'm okay, yes, sir. I'm all right. So what do you want to say to us, Mr. Kashim? I got a, another question. Oh, you have a question? I thought you... Are you a Muslim? Yes. That's wonderful. What do you think about what I was oh. saying first? Oh. About oh. What, what is the kingdom of David? Oh, Before you go, what, what, God, what is the kingdom of David? Do you know? How can God die? He, who told you who uh, God die? Who told you that? What do you mean? Who is the stupid told you God die? Give me his name. In Bible. Well, hold on. So you are saying that the Bible says that God died? Yes, Jesus. Yes. Okay, can you show me where it says that? Uh, he went cross. Crucified. Okay, so you are saying to me, if he wasn't the cross, that means he is not God, right? No, you you say he God, yes? No, no, no. I, I'm trying to understand you. You are saying if Jesus was not the cross and he was crucified, that to prove that he cannot be God, correct? I Yes, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Guys, this uh, uh, Muslim brother, he said, if Jesus was a crucified, there's no way he is God. But in the Quran, my friend, Jesus was not crucified. So according to the Quran, Jesus must be God. No, no, he wasn't crucified in Quran. No, in, in the Quran, Bible, in the Quran. He, he, okay, the Quran, he, did Jesus crucified or not? Uh, no. Okay, you, you told us if Jesus was in the cross, that is a proof that he cannot be God, correct? No, no, if he died, okay, you, you listen, took out if he died, if he died, correct? Okay, okay, I understand you. Now, Jesus, according to the Quran, he was not crucified and until now he's alive. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, how you explain to us that Jesus did not die? You are you the one who said, if Jesus died, he cannot be God. According to the Quran, until now, Jesus is alive. What? You are the one who told me that. You are the one who told me that if Jesus died, he cannot be God. Everybody heard you. According to your Quran, Jesus never died until now he's alive. So how a man, he is just a man, he is alive for more than 2,000 years and he don't die. No, no, you see, this is your logic. This is your logic, Abdul. Abdul, my brother Abdul. I like you. I know Abdul. And I know, and I know you are very smart. Smarter than me. So I... I, 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 I Excuse my 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 foolishness. You are the smart one. Explain to us no, no, how you can answer this. You are the one who said, if Jesus die, he cannot be God. Will Jesus in your religion never die? Until now, no, I'm saying no. You 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 twisted words. You I said that how can God die? Who said? Right? Who, okay, I, and I told you, and I told you, who told you that God die? Who told in you that? Bible. It doesn't say that. You are a liar. Show me. Show me where it says that. So he didn't die? Where, where? Show me. I want to I learn from you. Where it says God died? No, no. I'm, I'm asking. I'm just asking you. Did Jesus it it didn't say that. It didn't say. It says that they crucified Jesus and they killed the flesh of Jesus. God is not a man. God, he came to us in the flesh. They killed the flesh. That's all. God never died. Uh -huh. God is always alive. Uh -huh. Let me ask you a question. When your God, Allah, uh -huh. he changed his uniform uh -huh. from a leg to different shape what happened to the first uniform is it dead or alive uh, i'm sorry i don't understand your question okay you're a prophet when the muslims ask him about seeing allah in the day of judgment he said yes you will see him and he will come to you in a shape other than the one which you know so uh, now allah have two shape shape number one and shape number two okay when allah he came in shape number one i said i mean sorry shape number two he have to exchange shape number one. What happened to shape number one? Die or still alive? 
uh, I'm ignorant. I need to check, you know. What do you mean you check? You want you won't show you the, the hadith in front of your eyes? Well, no, do, do you, you want that? Say, no, do, do, yeah, no, 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 no. Why you want to check? We can do it right now. You are smart. You are educated, not like me. I don't know how to read, how to write. And, no, I, well, you, and you, even you, my English is funny. Everybody knows that. I do not know the difference between dump and dump. You can ask the Muslims. So now you help me. Your prophet said that Allah will come to you in the shape other than the one which you saw first time. So Allah have two shapes. Okay, when Allah he came in the second shape, what happened to the first shape? That shape die or still alive? I don't know what what you mean. You know, what uh, do you mean? I, my question is very okay. Let me say it slowly, slowly. I came to you in a shape other than the I first shape, which means shape. It's mean a body, body, body. Shape is a body, my friend. Shape is a body. He changed his body. Shape is a body. So Allah he came to you in a in a new body. What happened to the first body? Please show me where it says. All right. Now you put me in the corner because if I could not show you, you will make fun of me. So I this is embarrassing. I hope I will pray to Allah to me to help me to find you the. Uh, uh, the hadith, hold on. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let us see. I hope I will be able to find it because you know, uh, it's very embarrassing now uh, if I don't show it to you. People will talk about me and my reputation, and things will be really horrible. But uh, let us hope. Let us hope that's yeah. Okay, let us see here. All right. Are you are you watching the YouTube with me? Uh, yes. All right. I need to read some Quran to find the verse uh, because uh, I mean the hadith it's, it's not coming Ish. Okay, I think we 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 found it. Hold on, let me find. Uh... Okay. <clears throat> Look with me, please. <clears throat> Hello. You hear me? Uh, yeah. Okay. We have. I will show you many hadith in the front of us. Not only one, and all of them they are sahih. Sahih al Bahar, yeah. Yeah. This is yeah sahih. Yeah. This is sahih. All right. Okay. Now, now, uh, this is the first hadith. Read the reference with me, please. This is Sahih al Bukhari, hadith mm -hmm. number, book number, value, sorry, uh, uh, value number six, book number 60, hadith number 105. This is okay. the first one. Okay, hold on. I will show you to, show, to, confirm, to confirm you how many. This is the second one. Uh, 
You see here in the translation, it says in a shape nearest to the picture they had in their mind. It doesn't say that, but this is not important for us. So Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. Allah have two shapes. What happened to the first shape? Can you, can you just show me again? Because I didn't see it. Okay. I, I see the shape because I think I'm ahead of the screen, you know? Okay, no problem. Let me let me get you uh, I'm behind, sir. Uh, more clear uh, hadith. All right, hold on. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Allah will come to them. Our Lord will come to the Muslims. And he would say, I am your Lord. I am your Lord. They would say, we take refuge with Allah from thee. And we don't associate anything with Allah. All right. And they will say that many times. All right. Now the question is, Allah is coming to them in different shape. He changed his shape. What happened to the first shape? I'm just reading it now. With Allah from the yeah, what if you twice for a priest? So some of them would be able to test if there's a sign between you uh hello because okay. Uh, <clears throat> to be honest, I'm uh, I, I I'm ignorant, so I need to I need to you know okay. research. But the Quran, I mean, the, your prophet, he confirmed that Muhammad, he is saying that your God Allah have two shape at least. One is the one which is, is they saw first time, and the, the the new shape. So now Allah have two shape. When Allah he finished or done with the first shape, what happened to it? It die. Allah changed his form, and the form here is a form of a, a person. Whatever the form looked like, a form of a man, a form of an octopus, we don't care. What happened to the first form? What do you think? I, I, I you know, I can't answer, you know, I, I, I need to do research, so. Hmm. Okay. I can't, you know, I can't tell no you how problem. to because I don't no answer. Problem. Now, I now uh, as long as you're here, you, you, you know, like, you're, like you are in trouble because you cannot ex explain to us that your God is always alive, but now he is one God, but now he is two gods, for he is, well, two, he, he is two shape. I'll come back to you then, because I, I you know, I, I, I need to research myself. Ah, okay. No problem. Now, let us go back to zero then. We were talking about the kingdom of David and Suleiman. According to you as a Muslim, where is the where, where is the location of the kingdom of David? Well, it would be ancient Palestine. Would be the ancient Palestine? Ancient, ancient Palestine, yes. Ancient. Okay, so now this is the land of the Jews. Um why why yeah, you Muslims like, why you Muslims you're saying that the because, Jews the Jews have nothing to do with Jerusalem if you just admitted that this is the kingdom of Suleiman? No, historically, Palestine was Jewish, yes, but uh -huh. it doesn't intervene to the Islamic faith because we didn't differ from them, you know? What, what, what? I don't understand what does that mean. What do you mean? If, if you just we said didn't. that this is the land of the Jews and you, you understand we, that we this historically, what do you say historically? When you say historically, what does that mean? Does that mean the Jews, they built they build Jerusalem? Is that what it's meant? The Jews, they are the one who built the land? They built the city? Well, yes, Jews. Yes, Jews built the city. Yes. Okay. So, the, the, so the Jews, the Jews, they built the city. Now, what make you have the right to have any city there? As long as this is their city, this is they are born there, and this is their land, and they are the one who uh, build it. And kingdom, their who's, kingdom. Who said? You? Who said that I don't agree? Okay. So why you are, you why, why the Jews is not their land? Then why the, Israel is not the land of the Israeli? No, it is. The, I would say it it's is Jewish. It is Jewish, but but there's a but. We just like there's Christian sections. There's also Muslim sections. What what but section? What, okay, okay. What is the Muslim section? What what is what is the Muslim section? What is the Muslim section? And what make it Muslim section? Tell me. Because the Palestinian people have always been there. Those are not Palestinian. Those are Arab. They came in the invasion in the year seven hundred with Omar al-Khattab. Palestinians are not Arab. Palestinians are not Arab. Ask all those who claim to be Palestinian to the Hamas. Ask them. They will say to you, you are Arab. 
all of us we knew that the first time Arabic language entered the land of Bilad al-Sham, what's called Bilad al-Sham, the land of Syria, is in the time of Abdul Malik ibn Marwan, long after Muhammad's death. First time ever somebody speak Arabic there. Even the, the record of the of the, the caliphate Abdul Malik ibn Marwan was not written in Arabic, it was an Aramaic language. Because his people do not know how to read, how to write. So he have to use the Aramaic, the Syrian, you know, language, because they are the only one knows how to write, how to read. The Bedouin, they are savage. So now the first time the Arabic language enter into Jerusalem, if it enter at that time, is when the Arab invade that land. So what does this have to do with the Palestinian today? Those are not Palestinian, those are Arab invaders. They came to this land. There's no Arab there. Well, you know, you could say the same for these Jews now, uh, Europeans. They came from the. the it doesn't matter, you know, the, this is their business. This is their land. No, no, no listen, 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 listen. In the land of Germany is German, right? Mm. Okay. They accept refugees. Many of them are Muslims. Uh, this is their business. Is if they are willing to welcome refugee or people to give them citizenship, this is their problem. They have the right mm -hmm. because they own the land. It's not your business. If I want to have somebody in my house, I can have him. So now we confirm that the land is the land of the Jews. And you Muslims have no right to claim it. So why you are being injustice and why you are not being honest with yourself and why you don't say, we know this is their land. They are the one who built Jerusalem. They are the one who built Haifa. They are the one who built all the cities and those cities belong to them. What about what about the city of Al Medina, where your prophet he seek refuge? Did he come as a refugee to the city of Yathrib? And the uh, Jews and the Jews was full of the city. So yes. this is a Jewish city. Muhammad came as a refugee. How you must take it from the Jews? Give it to the Jews. Well, in the day that was in the day when was at large it was bigger than what, the, what does have to do with the christianity my friend the I, city I, I, where muhammad where muhammad came he came to the land of the jews that is not yes. far away from mecca this is a city of the jews muhammad came as a refugee and then imagine he killed the ones who welcome him in their cities and he took their cities and now muslims changed the name and now no christian no jews can allowed or allowed to get inside the city but this is not your city in the heart of saudi arabia no, technically Saudi Arabia was mostly pagan. Though. It doesn't matter now. Why you don't allow the Jews to go back to their city, which is the city of Yathrib? Who says that? Who says? That? Well, I, I don't. I, maybe that, I, I, you what know, do you I mean? Who? Who, who, who you, what do you mean? What they, who says? There is a sign because in the highway. Do you, do you want to show it to you? It says no, no, only right, Muslims, right. only Muslims can enter this land. And actually, the Quran have a verse saying that the Christians and the Jews and non-Muslims are Najis, so they cannot enter those areas. Can I speak, please? Yeah, sure. But, uh, but by the way, yeah. wh where are you from? Yes. If you don't mind, are you huh? from, where are you from? From Pakistan? Uh, yes, but living in the United Kingdom. Yeah, but, but you are Pakistani. Yeah, uh, no, Iran. You are from Iran? Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so are you Shia or Sunni? Sunni. You are Sunni, all right. Yes. What Sunni mean? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? What does it mean? I don't know. I, I'm asking you. I, you know, I'm ignorant. I do not know anything about Islam. I'm not trying to re learn from you. What What the word Sunni mean? I think you're just trying to okay. try and spot okay. me. Tell me what Sunni mean. I, I'm trying. What well, trying? Uh, is it is it is it shameful to say what Sunni mean? What Sunni mean? <laughs> <laughs> and go. I don't know why guys did I do something wrong I mean I'm trying to trap him he said I don't know what he said spank me you are trying to spank me I don't know what he said what I mean here we go thank you thank you Allah finally we got a Muslim who call us and he have to admit that this is the land of the Jews and I was speaking to him in a very nice way right I mean I'm I was not aggressive with him. Who's next? Who is next? What do you mean I don't let him speak? All this talk, he did not talk yet? Are you sure? 
Look at the Abdul guys. I didn't let, let him speak. All of this is recorded. You can play it. Okay, I, I Muslims, as long as you think that he was doing good, I encourage you to download the recording after we finish and post it in every Islamic YouTube. Who wanna do that? And when a Muslim he says to me, I am a Sunni, what does that mean? I will tell you what does that mean. It's mean you have to clean your ass with the three rocks. Do you? Who is a Muslim of you? When he go in the bathroom, he take a throw rocks with him. You are not a Sunni. You are a liar. A person who is a Sunni, he pee in the street sitting. A Muslim who is a Sunni, he collect boogers and he put it in his pocket. A Muslim who is a Sunni, he have to have a lot of flies in his head. A Muslim who is a Sunni, he have to have a wife. She is six years old. So what do you mean you are a Sunni? You are not a Sunni. Sunni are the one who follow the Sunnah of Muhammad. What is the Sunnah? The way of life. The practice of Muhammad. That is what Sunnah is about. So why they lie to us and they say we are Sunni? You are not. Now, how many Jews here listening to this uh, video? If you, if there is Jews in here, give me one. Do we have Jews here? Anyone? If you are a Jew. Download this video. You can cut the part. I mean, don't do editing. No, just cut the part from the time he uh, call to the time he hang up and post it around. Let everybody hear how the Muslims admit that this is the land of the Jews. Where is that? Where is the Sunni? A Muslim Sunni is someone when he piss, he shake his penis three times. Tuk tuk tuk. I mean, why three times? What will happen if it's four times? His penis will fall apart. Amo Sunni. Who are you? You don't know if you are a Sunni. You are a bunch of hypocrites. Do you wear jeans? Your prophet, he said, the one who dressed like them is one of them. If a Muslim he dressed like us, he is one of us. So what do you mean you are a Sunni? Do you wear our shoes? Do you wear our underwear? Do your wife buy Victoria's Secret? Do she buy lipstick? Do the Muslims have lipstick? Who is the one who made lipstick? If your prophet make it clear that the one who do what they do he is one of them. Everything you do, Muslims today, is what we do. You are trying to copy us. We make phone. You buy our phone. Huh? We make cars, you buy our cars. He is calling again. How are you, my friend? Hello? Okay. Okay. You know, uh, so do you feel better now? I, I hope I did not offend you. Did I offend you or something? I couldn't be involved with stupid questions. Oh, okay. Why is it so stupid? Can you tell me? It's just stupid. Well, no, I, I let us say for the sake of argument, I am asking a stupid question. Can't you give me a smart, uh, uh, smart answer for a stupid you know, question? You know the passage Isaiah, Isaiah forty-two. Uh, no, I do not know what that verse. What, can you tell me what about it? Tell me, please. <clears throat> One second. As Isaiah, what forty-two? <coughs> hmm. Is Isaiah is is he a Christian? Jew. Oh, he's a Jew. Okay, I'm, I'm glad he's not a Christian. I was going to be upset because he said something bad. Okay, so I if you can, if you wait, why don't you bring up Isaiah 42 on your program and have a read? No problem, we are here. Read it for us. What is Isaiah 42 saying? You you very easy. So, you to tell everyone, show my, everyone, my friend, my friend. Okay, right we now. will show, we will show. No problem. Can you tell us where? What what verse in Isaiah forty two? Isaiah forty two. They mean the chapter, right? Yeah, just read the chapter. Yeah. If you okay, the whole chapter. You want me to read it? It's big. What do you want me to read exactly? <laughs> okay. Uh, read from. 
uh, to search Google, search Google. <laughs> okay, read from the uh, first uh, forty two one to forty two. What forty two one? I don't understand. What do you mean forty two one? Chapter, chapter 30, 42, I guess. Chapter 42. Okay, verse number one. This one. Okay. Two. Seventeen. Okay. All right. Let me see. Hold on. It's uh, a prophecy for from Prophet Muhammad. If, if that's deep, you know, Th this is why this is why uh, Christian prince trying not to read it for you because obviously it's a prophecy about your prophet. And how you find out that this is a prophecy about your prophet? If you don't mind to tell me. Uh, speaker's corner. If, if, if that's deep that's deep okay let us see I'm going to uh, show everybody the verse you mentioned for us or the chapter and actually I'm going to play the sound of it so everybody can hear you know okay okay here we go Isaiah 42 behold my servant whom I uphold mine elect in whom my soul delighteth mm -hmm. I have put my spirit upon him he shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles he shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, till he have set judgment in the earth, and the isles shall wait for his law. Mm -hmm. Thus saith God the Lord, He that created the heavens and stretched them out, he that spread forth the earth, and that which cometh out of it, he that giveth breath unto the people upon it, and spirit to them that walk therein. Okay, to, and to what, what verse you want? And to what verse? Are we done, or you want more? Uh, sorry, what verse you had now? What, what verse you said? The one you stop? You want me to stop? Uh, I'd say 17. 17. I have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and then that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea, and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof. Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar doth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing, let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto the Lord, and declare his praise in the islands. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. Okay, hold on, hold on. Does it say that the Lord shall come as a mighty man? Are you there? Hello? Let us go from the beginning. Uh, you want to go from number one, yes? Yeah. Now, let me ask you a question. Here it says that this guy who is he's talking of, he, is not, he should not speak loud in the streets. Do your prophet Muhammad don't speak loud in the street? Uh, can you just show me what uh, verse that was, please? Verse number two. Uh, he will not cry out no racist voice. Well, he will not cry out no racist voice. Well, I can show voice. you a ton of hadith about your prophet screaming at people. Shouting. Okay, but we can see this. Okay. We can see the same. To, we could say the same to Jesus. And this is don't change the topic now. You you are the one who said this is about Muhammad. Right? Yes, but I'm guessing. Do okay. you believe this don't, is for Jesus or not? I'm not, not talking about Jesus now. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. I'm, You're a I'm prophet. Asking, you you, you are the one who one. said. I am not the one who said this is about Jesus. Yes. Did I say so? Yes. Did, I, did I say so? Oh, no. Did I say so? Simple. So, then, yes no? so then, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. I'm not saying. You, you know, no, no, we don't want to change the topic. You said this is about Muhammad. Let us laugh at you. Don't change the topic. There's a person who will never speak loud. Number two, he will sing for the Lord. Isn't it in music haram? In Islam? 
That is so out of context. Listen, is anti music haram in Islam? Yes or no? <laughs> Instruments. Is anti music haram? Yes or no? Singing, no. It says singing there. What do you mean singing? No. Where? Okay, show singing me. Okay, show haram. show me where it says that singing is halal in Islam. Show me where it's not. Okay, here we go. That's a good thing. No problem. And I just wanted to don't ask don't don't, don't don't just wait just wait just wait you don't let me just speak. wait just wait just wait don't change the topic we want to finish one by one you said show me it's right not I'm, not, I'm not like you I'm not it's like you I'm not like I'm you asking. when you say to me show me I show you all right just so okay. you're very so biased. here we go your, your manner, you're here we go biased. you know your your prophet he said it clearly that don't do anything is called lahul kalam we go to the interpretation it says like singing any music. Singing and music, all right. It doesn't say music in the text. Okay, we will see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So no, I, I'm just saying. Okay, okay. Isaiah 42 does not say music in the text. Okay, it says singing. Are you allowed to do singing? Yes. Where it says that? Where does it say it doesn't? So are you saying to me that in the Quran, if nowhere it says it does not, it means it's allowed? What? Well, obviously not. Because so, you're, you're, so, you're, so why you are, why you are not giving the answer? Okay, where it says, where it says, where it says. Okay, if I show you, if I show you right now, you're scholars. Listen, listen, Abdul. If I show you right now, you're scholars saying, you're scholars saying that thinking is haram. What you will do? Well, then I, I would ignorant, and I should have known that. But all right, so let, right us do, now, let us do that. Let us do that. Thing is, you're very biased, my friend. Because okay, so you see, I'm going to show you what you Muslims believe. Because if I show you, you will say to me, uh, uh, you know, uh, this is your opinion. This is not a true. You know, this is not a, not a true. Okay, we will see if this is true or not. I just wanted to ask: Did you think I? This is the topic. I don't want to change the topic because if we change it, then we are going to speak about Jesus, right? You are the one who's oh, taking. It. Okay, are you taking? Uh, when, when you when you quote for me, uh, Isaiah, are you giving interpretation based on your Islamic source or a Christian source? Well, I'm getting the text from the Bible. No, no, I Testament. know, I know. But are you are you qualified to give interpretation for the Christian and the Jewish books? Can I read them? Do you mean? What do you mean? No, are you qualified to give interpretation for the Christians and the Jewish books? And when I say you, I say all of you Muslims. Like I'm saying all of you Muslims are you qualified? You know, if I give interpretation for the Quran, do you accept it? If it's in the if it's in the text, then yes. What do you mean it's in the text? Then? Do you accept my interpretation? It depends if it's in the text. If it if you... what? What do you mean? Okay. I have to admit, Muslims say, "Where does Jesus say?" Okay. What do you mean? Okay. What do you mean in the text? If the, the context in the text, uh, this is the one who will make decision that this is what the context is saying. You're telling me that we can't sing, yes? I'm saying to you. Is that is that you? Is that no? I'm saying to you that you Muslims do not you know. You said Muhammad what, did not sing, yes? Okay, you Muhammad. Where Muhammad he said you can sing? Where did Jesus say you can sing? Here we go. The, the, the Bible. The Bible Jesus. says you can sing for the Lord. You can sing. You can sing. Who said you cannot sing? Now show me where your Quran says you can sing. Can you show me? You are the one who chose to me the verse. The verse in front of you, it says, sing. Did Muhammad sing? Muhammad. Did Muhammad sing? sing. Did, did Muhammad sing? Did Muhammad, did Muhammad sing? sing? Yes or no? Did Muhammad sing? Yes it or no? It proclaiming. What, what, what it proclaiming? doesn't sing. You're not going to be singing it, are you? Sing what? Sing, sing what? Sing what? Verses. Okay. Muhammad was proclaiming what? Proclaiming Muhammad was loud. proclaiming what? 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 That he was the prophet. 
but it says there okay let us read the verse together you see I don't know you are jumping uh, uh, like uh, from place to place it says sing into well, the maybe, Lord well, new song listen listen, listen. sing into the Lord the new song did Muhammad sing a new song to the Lord did Muhammad sing a new song to the Lord is that what it says in Isaiah yeah verse number 10 it says sing into the Lord the new song did okay. Muhammad sing a new song to your to your Allah? Let's say, let us say he is singing to Allah. Um, is that a new song? I'm reading the text now. Second, please. A new thing I declare. Sing to the Lord a new song. His praise on the end of the earth. You who go down to the sea, coastlands, mountains of the wilderness, voice, the villages that go her. A new song, okay. Sing to a Lord to a new song and his praise from the ends of the earth. Well, ha, ha. Uh, uh, yeah, did, he, did Jesus bring a new song? Don't change the topic, don't change the topic, you know. Don't change, no, the I'm, I'm don't, don't change, don't change the topic, don't change the topic. Jesus, he brought er, everything with Jesus is in you. Jesus, he is the Lord. He, uh, you know, he says, It's been said to you, but I say to you, yes, he brought a new song. When when the uh, Jews they came to stone the women, what Jesus said to them, if one of you had don't have sin, don't have sin, cast your first stone. So Jesus he brought something in you. The Jews don't understand. And you are changing the topic to get away from the, the, the disaster. You say this verse is about Muhammad. And let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a simple question. Why your prophet did not say that you can find my name in Isaiah 42? I am just asking you. I'm just asking that. you too. Why, your prophet? Are you saying that the speaker corner, the Abdul you saw in the speaker corner, is smarter and he's more knowledgeable? Where the name of your prophet appear and where is the prophecy about him appear? Are you saying to me, you Muslims, that your prophet was a stupid? He do not know that it is speaking about him in the Torah, but he do not know. Are you saying to you Muslims that Muhammad is the last one to know? Is the same as when his wife she was sleeping around with Safwan? He is the last one to know. What's wrong with you? How you say to me that this is about Muhammad, but Muhammad never said so. Why Muhammad did not quote that verse for the Jews when he was alive? He says, hey, listen, Isaiah is about me. Give me an answer. Well, tell me where Jesus said some the verse in the Torah. Don't change the topic. Why you're a prophet do not know about it. He is a prophet or he was aftermarket prophet. And you Muslims can find a place for him. Look, it's if you if you go answer, down, answer, don't say the topic. Careful. Answer why it's your prophet careful. do not know. How come well, he do not know? Is? How come he do not know? Do you know why? Was Jesus in Kedar? Let me ask you a question. Was Jesus was, in Kedar? Was Muhammad in Kedar? Yes. Where? Where is Kedar? Well, you tell me. Well, you tell me. You are the one who said yes. Tell me where is Kedar. Let us laugh at you. It's about Prophet Muhammad. Bye. Where is Kedar? Kedar is Mecca? <laughs> Kedar is in Medina? <laughs> Answer. Where is Kedar? Hello? Did he hang up? What happened? Are you there? Let us go him again. Let us laugh. Mm. All right, all right, coward. Guys, look what it says here. Muhammad, we know all of us that he have a companion. He is a blind. Was Muhammad able to make the blind see? Hmm? And I will bring the blind by the way that they know not. I will lead them in a path. What does that mean? Muhammad, he brought the blinds. Muhammad, he made fun of the blinds. He kicked the blind from his house. There's a verse in the Quran that says, quote, Abasa wa tawalla in ja'ahu al-a'ma. Abasa. A blind man came to Muhammad. And Muhammad, he kicked his ass out of the house. 
And if you go to the interpretation, you will see that Muhammad, he kicked this man out of his house in chapter 81, verse number 1, because he was busy with the rich men of Quraysh. The verse is speaking totally different. Muhammad was a very bad person with the blind men. Muhammad, he insulted people who they are suffering from disability. And we can show you many examples. Huh? Where is Muhammad? The Muslims are so desperate to find their prophet in our books because they cannot prove to us their prophet. And the most stupid, funny thing I find, when a Muslim, he says to us, it is found here and there, but he's a prophet, never mention it. Maybe Allah did not inspire Muhammad, the prophet of the Abdul, that his name in Isaiah 42. Is that the reason? So a speaker corner who came 1400 years, or he is learning from uh, Ahmad Dida, the, the donkey, he copied, the, the Muslims are copy-paste. But nobody asked himself, why Muhammad in his time did not say my name is in Isaiah? I am the comforter. Right? Let me show you what your prophet said, where his name is going to be located, Abdul, so you can laugh at yourself. Your prophet said, the only one will talk about him is Isa. And he will talk about a person, his name is Ahmad, not Muhammad. وَإِذْ قَالَ عِيسَى إِبْنُ مَرْيَمْ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ All right. Chapter 61, verse number 6. What he said. That there's a prophet will come after me. His name is Ahmad. So if the name of Muhammad should be shown, it should be shown exactly as you see it here in the verse. It should not be Muhammad. It should not be without a, uh, having a name. It should not be like mysterious. It should say, his name is Ahmad. Not Muhammadim, as the dad he fool you. This is your Quran. His name is Ahmad. Now, by the way, how many names your prophet he have? 99 names. Why? Because none of them, those are his names. Muhammad, he gave himself names to praise himself. What the meaning of Muhammad, the praised one? If Muhammad is the praised one, who is the praised to? Allah? Who is Abdul when I call us? I don't know why this uh, uh, Muslim hero, he hang up. I mean, obviously you have, uh, you, you, are, you are occupied with Isaiah. You have Isaiah in your hand and you can fight, you, you can fight with it. And look, guys, how they change the topic. Suddenly, they want to talk about Isaiah. <laughs> oh, boy. Answer, answer. Come on. Allah will bless you if you answer. Let us have fun. Come on, be a man. Coward. The most funny statement is what the Muslims, they say that they found the name of their prophet in certain verses, or there's a prophecy speaking about Muhammad in the Bible. When their prophet himself, he do not know about them. That is additional proof that Muhammad is a false prophet because how this guy became a prophet, because now he's, he's prophesying to us that this is about, this is about Isaiah, about Muhammad. How Muhammad the Prophet could not recognize that he is the Prophet and his name is mentioned or spoke about him in Isaiah chapter number 42. But the Abdul, who is not a Prophet, he was able to prophesy to us about the prophecy about the Prophet. You know what I mean? The Prophet who is not a Prophet, he cannot find his name in the Bible. But the Abdul, they were able to find. Muhammad in the Bible that is astonishing I'm really, I'm really astonished Muhammad is the last one to know the same as what happened when they found Aisha sleeping with Safwan 
Aisha, she broke her necklace. Okay. And Aisha, she spent the night with Safwan. Uh huh. And when Aisha she came back the second day, they asked her, "Hey Aisha, where you been with Safwan?" I, I was looking for my necklace. Oh, if 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 if. The last one to know is the Prophet Muhammad. Do we have any brave Muslim wanna 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 prove to us? So what we get from this Abdul until now that Israel is the land of the Jews, and Muslims are desperately looking for their prophet in our Bible. And he just confirmed that the book of Isaiah must be a true book. Correct? Guys, did he confirm? Because the second a Muslim he quoted from a book, it's mean the book is true. Who is the brave Muslim he dare to say that Isaiah is a true book? As long as you are quoting from there saying this is about Muhammad. Any Abdul is willing to do so? Guys, in the in Isaiah verse number three, it says that this person will not break anything, which means will not kill, will not harm. Right? Did Muhammad did not break anything? <laughs> Do you see it? Do you want me to show you Muhammad burning the trees? Burning the trees, not only breaking them and cutting them off. Do you want me to show you Muhammad digging the graves of the Jews? Imagine how much he hate he have. Huh? Do you want me to show you? Let us see. So he will not break a branch of a tree. Which means he will do no harm. This is what it's meant. It's not about a tree, really. He will do harm to no one. He will be very peaceful. How peaceful was Muhammad? Ibn Umar narrated that the messenger of Allah B P B U H. I think this is a new chemical. I'm not sure if this is King King Jong, you know, in uh, in North Korea is using. Burned the palm trees of Banu Nudair and cut down. Do you see it? But the verse number three it says that he will not even cut a branch of a tree. In the mean, how peaceful he is. This is your prophet. Are you sure? Why a person he killed those people? Why? I mean, imagine how much hate he have. I mean, why you are cutting the trees and burning it? He killed the people. Why this person his hate is extended? And you know, remember, we are talking about the desert, and having trees in the desert is a blessing. People are desperately for something green. Imagine you have a park in the middle of the desert. That's amazing. That's beautiful. People, they are traveling. They can lay down in the shade. Uh, people, they can uh, find water because obviously as long as there is trees, it means there is water too. He killed the, 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 the tribe of Banu Nudayu. And after he killed them, he started cutting the trees and he burned it. So how Isaiah chapter number 42 is about Muhammad and we can go line by line and we will see how stupid the statement of the very desperate Muslims about their prophet to find him in our book they could not prove him to be a prophet so desperately they are looking for him in our books do we have any Muslim here Who as a Muslim would like to give us a goal? 
Hello? Are there is any Muslim? <clears throat> and by the way, this guy, he said he is from Iran. I, I strongly, I believe he is not. There is no way he is from Iran. This guy is a Pakistani boy. You can tell from his accent. You know, Persian people, they speak different accent. Any brave Abdul is willing to call us. So when a Muslim, he says he's a Sunni, he is not a Sunni, he's a liar. A person who is a Sunni, he do what Muhammad do. You cut the trees, you burn them. You, you hit nails and you put it in the eyes of people. Do you want me to show you? You cut the hands and the feet and you crucify people. Do you want me to show you? The verse in Isaiah says it's not going to break, break a branch of a tree. Muhammad, he cut hands, he cut feet, he did beheading, he raped, he steal. Even his followers, they accuse him of stealing underwear. I mean, this guy is online. I don't know why he is not answering. Let me try one more time. This time I will read Quran for him. I mean, uh, I will say Bismillah al Rahman al Rahim and call. Okay, say Bismillah al Rahman al Rahim, call. Let us see if it's going to work this time. He don't want to answer. Look like he is convinced that his prophet is a scam. He give up. He gave up. Okay, Abdul, I will let you go. No problem. Who is next? Is this verse about Jesus? I mean, who cares if this is verse about Jesus or not? I'm very serious. Who cares if it's about Jesus or not? Let's say it's not about Jesus. That will not change anything. That will not change anything. According to your religion, Muslims, Jesus is the word of God sent down to Mary so Jesus in the Quran he came down from heaven he was not on earth he never been in earth according to the Quran and the word of God became a man well, that's what John chapter 1 verse number 1 and verse 14 says and Jesus cannot be God for if God if Jesus is God should not die okay well Jesus never die in the Quran that's mean he's God I mean, your logic itself is proving to us that Jesus is God. The same logic you are using to prove to me that Jesus cannot be God is the same logic proving to me that Jesus is God. How Jesus is not God because he died, but you must then believe that Jesus until now did not die. Who is the stupid here? And the brother, how God died? Now, who told you that God died? I want to know. Who in the world told you that God is dead? Let me help you, more Muslims. You see, the Muslims, they, you know, they sometimes they try to be smart. They say to you, okay, the Christians they believe in the Trinity. Okay, where was the Trinity before the birth of Jesus? Huh? Can you answer this? Where was the Trinity before the birth of Jesus? <laughs> hold on, hold on, Abdul. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The answer is in the Quran. The answer is in the Quran. The Quran says that Jesus is the Word of God. Does the word of God have beginning and end? I challenge any Muslim to say yes. When was the beginning of the word of God and when the end of it? Aren't you Muslims believe that the word of God is eternal? So the Trinity is always there. 
the Trinity always there another question <clears throat> When Jesus, he is God and he died, who is the one in charge of the world? <laughs> hmm? Who is the one in charge of the world? Who? Okay, the manager. You know, Jesus, he hired a manager. <laughs> Abdul. Abdul. Every Abdul is suffering from a donkey disease. It's called donkeyism. Even you as a human, when you die, you Muslims believe that you are dead and you are yet in the grave and you can talk and you can hear and the angel will ask you questions. So you are dead and you are in the grave talking are you a talking dead are you sure and then the angels will come to you and they have a hammer from made from steel and they will ask you first the question who is your god you say allah <laughs> what is your religion you say islam and who is this man you say muhammad they will show you his picture if you give the wrong answer, the angels will hit you with the hammer and will take you down 70 foot. Sorry, 70 cubit. You are dead, but you're alive. So when the Christian believed that Jesus, he was crucified, they crucified the flesh of the man. God never died. Oh, he's going to quote for me from Google again. How are you, my friend? How are you doing? I got one more question. You have more questions. Can you make them ten? Can you make an? Can we sign a contract for ten questions? You know. Uh, no, no. Before you go, I honestly, I, I'm serious. Can we sign a contract between me and you that you promise me you will not leave today until you ask me ten questions? Is that fine? Yeah. No okay. problem. You promise by Allah? I promise. All right. Give me that question. <clears throat> you know. Uh, you know, in your your Bible, yes. No, I do not know. You, you, you know your Bible. You 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 believe your Bible, yes? What my Bible? I don't have a Bible. Which Bible are you talking about? I, I thought we have one. The Muslim. I saw an article made by Muslim says we have a, a billion Bible. Which one? Well, you have uh, several. But which, okay, which one? Uh, give me, give me the one Bible? you are talking about. Which one? Which one? Which one? I'm asking you what Bible do you read? King James, NIV? No, no. I, 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 you tell me. I'm telling you. I don't know. I don't know. I, you know. I don't have a Bible. First of all. Who is the ignorant who told you the Christians? Bible? Who is the ignorant who told you the Christian they have a Bible? Oh, so you're saying you don't have a Bible? No. no so where, where do you read your word? Where do you read your text? I, I'm asking you. Are you saying the Christians they have a Bible? Yes or no? I say we don't. I'm I say no, we don't. Do you? Okay. So what do you have? We have the Book of God. The Bible is a word. Mean books of books. Many books. What Bible? It's a collection okay. of books. This is what Bible mean. So you're we have the book of God. Now let me ask you a question. Right. The book of God. No, when we say when we say the book of God, that's mean the book belong to who? Well, to your to you to your opinion to God, yes. In your opinion about your opinion, what do you think? The book of God belong to who? Well. It's made for man, but it belongs to God. So, okay, so no, both of us, we agree that the book of God is the book of God. It's not the book of the man. Do you agree? Yes, but right. it's for direct. Then let me, let, me, let me ask you then, how come your Quran says that Allah is the one who sent the Injil and the Torah? And that means the Injil and the Torah are the book of God, and you just agreed. Do you agree with that? No, I didn't agree with that. Bro. You, you just I said, you just say said, everybody heard you, that we uh, that the book oh, of God is the book, we belong to God. Back. Listen, I listen, you said that... I thought Christians can't lie. My friend, you said that the book of God belonged to God. Did you say that a second ago or no? Yes, I never said the Bible. I'm, okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. No problem. Not, I, did, I did not say the Bible. I said I don't have a Bible too. I just said that to you. Yes, I said, I'm, I'm I said, I said we have an Injil and we have a Torah. We have an Injil and we have a Torah. Now, who is the one who sent the Injil? Who is the one who sent the Injil and the Torah? Allah. Allah, thank you very much. So, so, the, what, the, so the Torah and the Injil is the book of Allah or the book no, of the no, Christians no, no, and the no, Jews? No, no. 
not the book what you have now my friend it doesn't matter i'm asking you now you know you don't even it have doesn't matter sense. it doesn't matter listen listen you okay you just said sense. you just said everybody heard you yes. You just said you know that? that the book we have now is I'm, not is not the Torah is not the Injil. Is that correct? Done. Did you say done. that? You have done. Abdul, did you say that? Did you say that the book we have now have nothing to do with the Torah, have nothing to do with the Injil? I'm saying there's no originality. Okay, no problem. Have... No problem. I'm just trying to understand. Are you the saying that the Torah today, okay. Abdul? Listen. Are you okay. saying the Torah, my friend? It's easy. Are you saying the Torah and the Injil, which the Christians and the Jews they have? It is not the true Torah and Injil, yes or no? What they have now? What yeah. you guys have now? Yeah, it's not the truth. Yes. So why you no, quote for not. me a second ago from Isaiah saying this about Muhammad? Well, it's in there, well, well, it, isn't it? So. Well, 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 you are the one who's quoting me, saying to me, Isaiah 42 is about Muhammad. So how it is not a true, and now it's a true? Is it a true or not a true? Hello? Okay, uh, uh, it's not true then. Just take it away. What do you mean take it away? I uh, so apologize then. Apologize that you did lie, claiming that this is about Isaiah, claim about about Muhammad. Apologize, apologize. Take it back. Say I apologize. I, I was lying. Okay, I'm just going to ask you that you you do know you have no money. Don't don't say topic. Don't say topic. Abdul, don't say topic. You asked me the question. We have to finish it. Okay. So now you admitted that Isaiah has nothing to do with Muhammad because the Torah is a fabricated book the one they have it right now now let me ask you a question as long as you admit it that allah is the one who sent the torah and allah is the one who sent the injil why allah cannot protect his book what do you think the problem because man's twisted it okay i okay so and why allah cannot protect it i want to and i want to twist the quran right now can i do that you go for it i did already here we go Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, I twisted the Quran. Can Allah stop me? What if you go and look in the Quran? Yeah, we or there's many Quran already. Already there's many Quran, don't you know? There's tons of Quran. Which one is the one is, is the true? Which one Quran you follow? Which Quran you follow? You yourself. There is one Quran. No, no, there's no one. That, that's, that's not true. Even your prophet he said there is seven Quran. Is that true? Show me. Okay, show me. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I will show you. Did you did you know that? Did you did you know that you have no manuscript from the first disciples or uh, what apostles or whatever they're called? Really? You no, I, I don't I don't know that. Do you have manuscript for those manuscript? Do you have yourself? Uh, read how Jesus became. No, no. Listen, listen, listen. Do you have manuscript yourself for the manuscript of Allah? Do you have? What? Do you have manuscript yourself? You are saying to me, do you know you don't have manuscript? Listen, we have we have tons of thousands. We have thousands of manuscript. You're lying. Now listen, I'm asking you now. Do your Muslims have a manuscript of the do your Muslims? Listen, listen. Do you have Muslims? Do you have a manuscript for Musas? Yes or no? For who Moses? Musas, yes. Do you? Well, no, because so why you are asking me to have manuscript for Moses then? You are a hypocrite. You are saying Moses is a Muslim prophet. Allah sent him. Why Allah? He wrote the he wrote the Torah by his hand to Moses. What the purpose of writing by hand if he will not keep the manuscript? What was why Allah he wrote by his hand? What for? What for? Because man changed. Okay, I would change what the 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 rocks. Allah he wrote it in the rocks. Why Allah he wrote in the rocks for Moses? It was like an art. Do you think Allah he was trying to go and join a museum about writing on rocks? Why he wrote the whole Torah according to Islam? You're a prophet, he said that Allah he wrote the whole Torah of Moses by his hand, not the Ten Commandment. So imagine how many trucks Moses he need to carry so he can carry the Torah. Do you know how many pages the Torah? Oof, a okay, lot of pages, have, man. You don't even have the Torah. Now listen, okay, listen. You I'm asking you, do you have the Torah? We have not a Torah, but we have Moses in our Quran. Yes. Ah, so you have somebody spoke about somebody, and he came more than a thousand years or two thousand years after him, and that is accepted. So you don't accept. You just said that somebody he wrote the Bible long after Jesus, and then you are saying to me there's somebody came long after long 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 after those who wrote about Jesus, and you accept him. So Muhammad well, came. Muhammad came thousands of years after Muslims. Listen, listen. 
محمد محمد كيم افتر محمد محمد كيم 1000 اوف ييرز افتر موسى ان هي كان ويتنس فور موسى دو يو اكسبت هيم دو يو اكسبت محمد ويتنس فور موسى وين هي نيفر بين ان ذا تايم اوف موسى محمد يس هاو هي كان ويتنس فور محمد اند فور عيسى اف هي نيفر بين ان ذير تايم على بروت داون اوكي اوكي هولد اون هولد اوكي ليت مي اسك يو اف اي جيف يو ناو اف اي جيف يو رايت ناو ذا تورا And I say to you, I want you to swear on the Torah. Do you accept the to Torah. swear? You have, no, you have no proof. Listen, listen. I'm, I'm asking you a question. If I give you the Torah and I say to you, can you swear in the Torah? Do you swear in the Torah or you swear in the Quran? What do you mean? Do I get? Where do I get my information from? No. If I say to you, I want you to swear, you are telling the truth. And I give swear. you two books. You I swear. Okay. And I give you a book and I say to you, This is the this is the Torah and this is the Quran. Which one you choose to take an oath in it? Quran. Why? Why not the Torah? Because there's no manuscripts of the Torah, but so, there is in so, the Quran. So you are saying only Quran only false. So okay, so you are saying that only false Muslims will take an oath in the Torah, correct? Pardon, I didn't understand. Only false Muslims will take an oath by the Torah because this is a wrong Torah. There's no manuscript. Well, there isn't. We a, agree on yeah, that. so I'm saying, so you are saying a true no, Muslim, a true Muslim, a true Muslim. Listen, listen. Make it clear. Make it make it clear. A true Muslim. Listen. A true Muslim. Are you saying? Hold on. I want an answer for my question. Are you saying a true Muslim should not swear by the Torah? Are you saying a true Muslim, a good Muslim, should not swear by the Torah? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Here we go. You're a prophet. He swear by the Torah. And the hadith in front of you. Read yeah, for me. The Torah existed there. And in front of you, what do you mean exists there? I, why, why are you Muslims? If it exists there, it means it existed until now. But the, no, there isn't. The, blah, 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 blah. You are talking like a Turkey. You are talking like a Turkey. And what do you mean exist at that time? The Muhammad in the Quran says that the, the Jews they, they corrupt the Quran in the time of Muhammad. Do you want me to show you the verse? They corrupt the Quran. Yeah, the, the Torah. Muhammad in the in the Quran he said that the Jews. They corrupt the, the Torah. Yeah. So what yeah. do you mean at that time it was okay? No, he could they Muhammad said they corrupted. Yes, Muhammad he said the Torah was corrupt by the rabbis of the Jews. Now, yes. why you are the one who said a true Muslim should not take an oath on the Torah for it is corrupt. Here we go. This is your prophet saying it clearly that he believed in the Torah and he is taking an oath in it. Where? It's in the front of you on the screen. Can you um, highlight? Well, the whole, read the whole hadith. Here we go. There's no need to highlight. Read it all. Take your time. You read. Read for us. Let us hear you. I hope you will not hang up. We, we have an agreement. You will ask me 10 questions. Ten questions. We are not even finished on the first one. So we have nine left to go. So Why now does I, it say that? Why it does says, it say, it says, does it says it? my friend, it says that a group of Jews, they came to Muhammad, invited him to judge between them, and they called him Abu Qasim. One of our men has committed a fornication with a woman. So pronounce judgment upon them. They placed the question for the messenger of Allah who sat on it and said, he said, Muhammad, bring the Torah. It was then brought. Then he would draw the caution from underneath of him, from beneath of him, and place the Torah on it and uh, uh, saying, I believe in thee and in the one who sent, who revealed thee. And you are the one who said, Only false Muslims will take an oath in the Torah. Do you, do you want to call a friend? Do you feel like calling Zakarnaik or something? Okay, okay. So show me where Jesus said he was God. Where what? Here's my other question. Tell me where Jesus said he is God. Don't we are not done. So you admit that you're a prophet. You just admitted that your prophet is a false Muslim. 
you no. said you said everybody heard you record the people they will copy the video and they will post it everywhere you said that clearly that only false Muslims they will take an oath in the Torah you're a prophet taking an oath in the Torah he's a false Muslim explain to me how you follow a false Muslim his name is Muhammad the son of Abdullah can you go down a little bit where it says after thee who revealed thee yeah, here, we go. Little, yeah here we go read it read it all I mean I'm, I'm, we are not hiding I, I can't see all I can see is he then said bring me one who is learned among you then okay the hold on let me let me make it more clear for you no problem hold on let me use my magic I will read the chapter of a chair uh, the chapter of the chair solve all the problems technical difficulty okay here we go do you see it all of it now all the hadith appear there's no excuse yes I can see one all second right. so what the problem now <laughs> okay you okay you got me that I'm not gonna lie okay I didn't know that Ah, so you now so do you admit that Muhammad was a false prophet and false messenger and false Muslim? No. So what do you mean? No, a second ago you told me. I mean, you are contradicting yourself. Aren't you the one who said only false Muslims they take an oath in the false Torah? Why Muhammad is saying I believe in thee if this is a corrupt Torah? Do you think Muhammad was drunk at that day? Drunk? Yeah. Well, no. Okay, maybe because he was bewitched by the Jews. Well, where does it say that? Well, uh, you, you do not know that Muhammad he was bewitched. Muhammad, the, well, yeah. the, the Jews, my yeah, friend, not, not, the, the yeah, Jews, not the, the Jews are very not dangerous. Let me tell you something. The Jews are very dangerous. That's why I don't visit them at home. Once I visited, visited a Jew, and when I went home, I start imagining myself having sex with my wives, but the fact I never did. And later I found that it was a Jew who made for me a magic, and I'm imagining things never happen. So what do you think about this, if this has happened to me? Do you think I'm going crazy, or this is a magic? I don't know. Obviously, I'm going crazy, you know. Look, look with me. He says the prophet continued for such and such period, imagining that he had sex with his wives, but in fact, he did not. Do you know what happened to your prophet? Is that on the screen now? Yeah. Uh, it's only just came on mine. One second. I didn't see anything. No problem. Take your time. Continue for such and such period. <laughs> I will give him time to read guys I will tell you my story once once I went to visit a guy he's from Israel his name is Shaul okay and I drank some tea and he told me do you like me to cut your hair I said okay so he cut my hair and then when I went home, I felt like there's somebody controlling me by remote control. So I start imagining myself having sex with my wives, but the fact it was the curtain of my window. And I imagine myself, and I told my friends I was having sex, but the wives, they told me, you never touch us, it was the curtain. So what do you think, Muhammad, from Pakistan? What happened to your prophet? He was having sex with the curtain or with the teddy bear? Hello? Hello. Yeah, what happened? What do you think happened to your prophet? Why is why he is not having I mean this is really crazy. You know, I'm not going I'm not I will never talk to Jews. I mean those people they are very powerful. I heard that the Trump Trump he is controlled by the Jews too. They 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 got some of his hair, he have a blonde hair, they got some of his hair and they are controlling him from far away. And this is exactly what happened to your prophet. Look at this. According to the story, they took some hair from his, I don't know from where, I hope not from the wrong area, and they controlled him from far away. So what do you think? 
Well, he was under the effect of magic. Okay, what does that mean? What does it mean that the prophet is under the effect of a magic? Okay, go down. It says what material did he use? Let me see down there, please. All right, no problem. How many lines you want me to go? Just a little bit, please. Okay. So guys, our friend here, he accept that his prophet was under black magic. That's wonderful. He was under the voodoo, yeah? Somebody did voodoo for Muhammad. You know, uh, once I went to Jamaica, and there is a neighbor there. She told me she is going to uh, bring a rooster, and she would do some voodoo for me, so she I will marry her. And she did. Second day, I did marry her, you know? But the third day, another neighbor, she liked me so she did cook a rooster or a slaughter a rooster and she did voodoo for my wife now my wife she asked me for divorce now the third wife she got me now because she did more, more powerful voodoo from the other voodoo because her rooster was bigger okay then the fourth wife the fourth neighbor i was moving like in, in the town from everywhere like you know because voodoo is working you know so what do you think about what happened to your prophet a woman she did voodoo or a man she did voodoo for muhammad Hello? Hello? Yeah, tell me, uh, talk to us. What, what, what happened? So what? The, 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 it says, the, 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 what material did he use? The other replied, the skin of the pollen of a male date tree with a comb and the hair stuck to it, kept yeah. under a stone in the well of Darwin. Yeah, so do you, Ooh, do, do you think really he can control a person by a skin of a pollen of a male date tree? So if I go right now and get some branches so from a from a part, from a palm tree, that doesn't, that doesn't indicate alcohol or drunkenness. I'm not talking about. I'm talking. I'm asking you. The prophet he was imagining himself having sex. Why is was he? Look, I mentioned the word drunk when your prophet he took an oath in the Torah. Remember, because you said that this is not right. So while your prophet was taking an oath in the Torah, either he's drunk or he's taking hashish, or he was bewitched, maybe. So which one you want no, to? Maybe, maybe, maybe the Torah back then was fine, and now it's no. Not. But Muhammad in the Quran said the Torah was not fine. I can show you the verse. But now let us let us focus in here. Muhammad he imagined oh, so himself. Tell me that verse, Muhammad, tell me that verse Muhammad said that because he was drunk or something. No, no. Listen, I'm I'm saying to you when he took an oath in the Torah, was he in his uh, 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 like uh, conscious of what he's doing, or he was a drunk, or being uh, crazy, or being hypocrite to the Jews? I say he was I hypocrite. I don't really know. I I'm say not, he was I'm hypocrite. He's trying know. to convert the Jews to accept him as a prophet. So he said to them, I believe in your Torah, and he took an oath of it. And he put the Torah in the cushion and he swore on it, showing respect to the Torah. He did not insult the Torah. He put, imagine he took the cushion from underneath of him and he placed the Torah in the top of it and he said, I believe in thee and the one who revealed thee. Now we see in this hadith that there's a Jewish guy, a Jewish guy, his name is Lubayd ibn Asam. He got some hair of the hair of the Prophet and he controlled him according to some hadith. It was the daughter of Lubayd is the one who did the black magic for your Prophet. Now, you said he was under the influence of the black magic. What is the black magic? Can you give me the definition? I didn't say he was under black magic. You did, you did. Go back and it's recorded. You said that. No, I didn't. Okay, okay. Now, so he was under what then? Tell us. Huh? He was under what? Here it says. He imagined himself having sex, but in fact, he did not. Why? Uh, what is the reason, I mean, based on this story in front of us, the hadith? Does it say magic or no? My main concern isn't this. My, my main friend, my friend, way, does it say magic or no? Is it saying magic or yes or no? Yes. Okay. Can I so what magic mean? What magic mean? Uh, who, knows? When, who knows? What do you mean who knows? Uh, who so, knows? so how you can call it magic if you do not know what it is? Okay, what do you think it means? I mean, it's a stupidity. There's no magic. Look, There's no magic. My main concern you see, you see, is where Jesus said he was God. But don't change the topic. I'm asking you, what no, no, magic? What, what magic? Yeah. What magic? What magic mean? 
he was controlled by magic. What magic mean? Okay, let me show you from the Quran. Do you know what the Quran says about magic? Yes, it's bad. Okay, what bad? What does that mean? It means it's bad. Okay, but uh, that's that bad. No, it doesn't say that's bad. It says that the, the one who is practicing magic is the shayateen. Do you agree with that? Chapter two, it... chapter 2, verse number 102. Show me any of them. Okay, let us show you on the screen. Read if you me. show me what Jesus said, he is God, don't change the topic. I, you know, we, you promised me no, 10 questions. You, you, you promised me 10 questions. You promised me 10 questions. I, will, I, will, I promise you, I will answer you about what when you finish this one. This is the first thing we will talk about. I promise. Well, Jesus, Jesus say said, I am God. Jesus said, I'm God. I will show you. Okay, now here we go. It says that Allah He sent two angels, Harut and Marut, and they taught magic to the bad ones, and it's used by the shayateen, the shaitan. So what do you say about this? I'm not interested in this, you know. I, uh, well, I am interested. You are the one who opened the topic, and now we have to finish it. It's your problem. You are the one who opened it, not me. Okay, can I close it? Okay, to close it, you have to answer me. How how your prophet is controlled by the shaitan? Because the shaitan is the one practicing magic. What kind of a prophet is controlled by the shaitan? What Allah was doing when the prophet was controlled by shaitan? He was watching TV. He was watching Dr. Phil. Sky News. <laughs> yeah, what he was doing? How you know uh, the Quran says that Allah is going to protect you from the genie and mankind. Okay, so how Allah He promised him to be protected. But he did not protect him. Do you know? <clears throat> no, I can't give you yes or no because I don't. Ah, you don't know. Okay, now you, I, 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 I made a promise for you. Okay, now we want to talk about where Jesus said, "I am God." Is that correct? In the Bible, yes. Or okay. the Quran. Oh, right. If you're going to use the Quran, try it. Okay, we want the Quran. I love to use the Quran. Okay, let me show you the Quran saying that Jesus is God. You are the one who asked for it, so we have to go with it. <clears throat> okay, uh, the Quran, the Quran. We will go to chapter. Let's ask Zakir Naik. Christian brother, brother and sister. Some Christians they said that Jesus is God, and all of us we know that this is not true. If we go in the Quran, we will find that the Quran said clearly that Prophet Jesus, Isa, is not God. What is the proof that he is not God? Read with me. All right. You know, oh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. I want to show you. Oh, yeah, we want to show you. It's okay. nothing, nothing serious. Yeah, no, no. I'm but, just asking you. What okay, you find okay, this. okay. Read, read, read. It says here with me. Right. اتخذوا أحبارهم ورهبانهم أربابا من دون الله والمسيح ابن مريم. Do you know what does that mean? I don't understand Arabic. So you pray to Allah in Arabic, but you do not know Arabic. I pray to him in English. Huh? You pray Quran in English? Yes. Are you allowed to do that? You said you are a Sunni, right? The Sunni yes. they pray to Allah in English. Since when? Okay, you must be a moderate Sunni. You 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 wear jeans, don't you? Okay, read with me here. It says that they took their rabbis and their monks as gods instead of Allah and the Messiah. This is the Quran saying that those the false ones they took their monks and their rabbis as gods instead of who of the Messiah and Allah. So Allah is saying that the Messiah and Allah is the one to worship, and this is the Quran. 
chapter 9, show verse number... Show me in the Bible where it says Jesus... Uh, no, you are the one who asked me to show you first from the Quran. Why you change now? In in the Bible, I mean. My friend, no, you said in the... In, you said, everybody heard you saying, that show me in the Bible... So in, in, in the, what's the problem uh, 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 going uh, to the... Uh, okay, so listen, the, uh, uh, you know, listen, listen, listen. What's the problem going to the Bible? We can believe? go to the Bible, but we have to finish. You are the one who asked me. People, they remember a second ago, you told me, show me from the Quran. We have to finish it. Why the Quran is saying they worship their monks and rabbis instead of Jesus? Why the Quran says that? Let's go in the Bible and see where it says he's going. <laughs> you know, you, I'm doing your request. I'm doing your request. Don't jump. So why it says you should worship Jesus and Allah? What do you think? Show me in the Bible where it says Jesus is God. I will show you no problem, but we have to finish this one. You have to give me an answer, so we can go to the Bible. What do you think? What is the reason for this? Don't you think there is a problem here? I feel like it's your screen frozen. Huh? Do you have? Do you have on my? Because I'm watching you on my YouTube. Do you have your screens like in one one place, like where writing is, or not? I can't see anything. Why you don't see? Okay, hold on. Let us see. Here we go. Do you see it now? Do you see it now? Everybody can see it. Chapter 9, verse number 31. And I, I highlighted for you the, the verse. So what do you say? One second. <coughs> it's in Arabic, yes? Mm -hmm. Show me, can you show me in English, please? Okay, well, the English translation is not really accurate, but no problem. Here we go. The Muslim, they fabricated translation. Okay. They took, they take their priest and their uh, rabbis or whatever to be their lords in uh, derogation of Allah, but it doesn't say that. It says, instead of Allah and the Messiah, this is a false translation. Anyone who's speaking Arabic, he knew. You can copy the text in Arabic, but just post it in Google as it is, if you don't believe me. So what do you say? Why the Quran saying that they took their rabbis and their monks as God instead of Allah and the Messiah? Is that a mistake? No, 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 no. It says... I don't I, I don't know that word to be their lords in decoration of Allah and they take as their lord. Yeah, this is your translation. Christ. I just said this is a false translation, my friend. It doesn't yeah, say they that. They were commanded to worship but one listen, Allah. Listen, listen, it doesn't say that. It doesn't Do say you, that. That's what you're showing me. Uh, this is what it's saying is here translation. This far, this is why I show it to you in Arabic. I thought you speak Arabic. I thought you okay. Hold on, hold on. Do you know? Do you know a friend who speaks Arabic? Yes, but not with me. Okay, can you call him right now? Uh, what's the time? No, he'll be asleep. Hmm. Don't you have a friend? He is awake because we can call him and he can read for you. I, I don't want to ring him at like 12 o'clock at night. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, maybe we can do it uh, next time. Is that you promise me? You bring me an other guy? You. Okay, guys, he promised me that he is going to read for us. He Thank was going to bring, will, he's going to bring a, a, a friend who speak will. Arabic and he will translate for us word by word. That's wonderful. Actually, I like that. Now, you said to me, where Jesus said he is God. Yes. Okay. Do you know how to read English? Of course, man. Are you sure? I thought Christians are uh, meant to love their neighbors, no? And I don't love my neighbor really. My neighbor is a donkey. Ah. He's a donkey. So you don't keep the don't keep the commands of Christ, no? No, I keep the command of my uh, Christ because my my that's, neighbor that's my, my neighbor command. literally is a donkey. That's what I can command, right? my friend, my friend, my neighbor is a donkey. I don't have a human being next to me. 
my next door is a donkey what i would do but by the way do you know what do you know what do you know what your prophet said about donkeys what does this have to do with love your neighbor why you are upset did i say to you i hate you did i say i hate you did i say i hate you why you are talking about about love do you are you even allowed to love your father in islam why you are talking about hate now why you jump you change it up you want to talk about hate Chapter so, 9, about, chapter 9, verse number 23, it says you cannot even love or be friend to your father and your brother from your family. Is it that says right? that in the Bible as well. No, it doesn't say that. Yes, New Testament, Jesus said, in, you can't follow me unless you hate your mother, brother, sister. Father, no, this is, not what, this is not what, I, what it meant. This is not what it meant. No, that is what it meant. No, it's mean if you love more yes. anyone more than me, it's mean you don't love me. You, the you, the, the, the word, the most you love is your Lord. This is why the Bible yes. says the one who insults his parents should be put to death. Is that correct? No, no. It says in the Bible you have to follow Jesus. Yes, you have to even hate your mother, brother, sister, because he. You're he, not. He uh, you know. You listen, listen. Devotion. Okay, let me ask you. Did, you Jesus say, did, Jesus Jesus say, did Jesus say? Did Jesus say? Did Jesus say? Did Jesus say? Did Jesus say love your enemy or no? Did he say love well, your no. enemy? Jesus, did he say to the Christians, love your enemy? Oh, did he say love your enemy? Yes. Okay. So how he, he said love your enemy and hate your mother. <laughs> so obviously this is not what it meant. So you are being a, now being a, being a child this. Now listen. Okay, in, okay. In, listen, 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 listen. Listen. Don't talk about love because Quran all is all of it is about hate. All right? Now, Jesus in Luke chapter 20 he asked the Jews and he said to them one second I have a Bible actually one second let me go check mm. what do you have the Bible of uh, Zechariah huh? which Bible you have the corrupt one uh, yeah, probably yes yeah which, which corrupt one which corrupt one you have well there's no manuscripts original man no no which which so translation what translation you are reading is that the same one I you, you quote for me is uh, Isaiah no, my friend, I just bought one from a shop. Ah, okay, no problem. All right, now it's NIV or something. N N NIV is not accepted. Christian don't accept this translation. This is false translation. Christian don't accept NIV, no. Christian don't accept it. No, ah. I don't. I don't accept it. No. Ah, so anyway, I, I will beat you from the NIV. No problem. Read for me. Here we go. Are you happy? I want to make you happy. <laughs> can't even go to a shop and buy a Bible because oh no! It's I, you know, there's I uh, do listen, listen. Do you accept your Safari translation? Say yes. One second, I'm getting. Do you started. accept? No, as long as you are talking about translation, do you accept your Safari translation? Say yes. What? Do you accept? Do you accept your Safari translation? Say yes. Do I accept any translation? Do you accept Yusuf Ali translation oh, to the Quran? For the Quran? Yes or no? For the Quran? Yes. Yes. Okay. In chapter 19, verse number 19, it says that Jesus is holy. He's what? Is holy. Do you accept that? Yes, of course. But Muhammad is sinner in the translation of Yusuf Ali. How does this happen? How Jesus is because holy. Jesus oh, but Jesus is sinless, right? You just say that? And Muhammad was sinner. Yes. Huh? Muhammad was sinner and Jesus is sinless, correct? Yes. Okay. So how Jesus is not God then? If you just said he is sinless, he's sinless. Huh? 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 You ask me to no, prove no, to you that Jesus is yeah. God. You ask I me to prove. You ask me to. You know you heard me and you answered and everybody heard you. You well, ask. You ask me to to prove to you that Jesus is God and you just admitted that your prophet is a sinner and Jesus is sinless. How a yes. human being can be sinless? Because God made him sinless. Okay, why Muhammad is not sinless then? Because that wasn't his. That wasn't his mission. Okay, so the mission of Muhammad to be sinless, the mission of Jesus is to be holy. Yes. Okay, when a person he is holy, is that make him human or God? Well, just for Jesus. What holy mean exactly? Holy mean he never make a, even a mistake, correct? Because because yes. sin can be done yes. by mistake, yes. can be done in purpose, can be done in many ways. So Jesus, you are yes. saying to us, he never commits sin. He never made yes. a mistake. That make him a perfect yes. person. Who is perfect except God? Can you answer? 
if there's anyone else perfect beside God no so Jesus is God for he just admit that he is perfect he never make a sin he never commit a sin he never made a mistake and you just confirm that the mission of Jesus to be sinless and the mission of Muhammad to be the devil to be sinner when you say my mission is to be sin sinner that's mean I am, I am playing the devil so you are saying to me that we have a bad cup good cup Jesus is the good good God Muhammad is the bad devil this is what you just said to us How can man be God? Though? You just told me he is God. I do not need to prove it to you no more. You just accepted how man can be sinless. <laughs> you tell me how he is just a man because and he is God sinless. God. I am sinless. You because are sinless. God Everybody is sin. Sinless. I am not sinless. You are not sinless. Everybody is sinner. So how Jesus is not sinless? Tell me. Explain to me. Because God made him not sinless. Okay. God made him not sinless for what reason? Why? There must be a reason. That's a good question. I don't know. Ah, the good question, no answer for it. I know why. Because he's perfect. And a person who have no sin, shall he die? Shall he go to judgment day? If he have no sin, what do you think? No. Well, no, because Jesus is on the right hand of the Father. Thank you very Father. much. So Jesus, guys, he just admitted Jesus will never go to the court. For there is no sin to be judged for. So he is above all mankind. He is not like anyone. Everybody go in the judgment day to be judged. But except Jesus. Now, is it true that your prophet said that Jesus is going to be judge absolute just and justice? Hakim and Muqsitan? Jesus isn't going to be judged, no. No, Muhammad said. And Jesus, yes, oh, he said Muhammad that. Yes, Jesus judged? said that. Yeah, but Muhammad said that he Jesus is going to be hakaman muqsitan which means absolute just and justice yes. is a judge okay how you can be absolute justice if you are not god there's no absolute justice except god because god he knows the unseen he knows his line right i can fool a judge if he is a human being i can lie to him i can cry and make him believe i am innocent he will let me go but i cannot fool god so in order for Jesus to be the judge in the judgment day and to be absolute no, judge, Jesus not judge on judgment day. He is. Who okay, when Jesus is going to be practicing his judgment according to Islam. Can you show me where it says that Jesus is going to judge? Uh, in the Quran? Not in the Quran. This is from the hadith. <laughs> oh, in the hadith? Yeah. Which one? No, no. <coughs> so how you or? Well, hold on. Let me see if I can find it in English first. If not, then we have to show it in Arabic. <coughs> All right. Here we go. It's in English in front of us. This is Sahih Muslim. And the translation here is not really accurate. And this is Sahih Bukhari. Read with me, please. Uh, what translation is this? I mean, where is this coming from? Sorry, this is Bukhari. Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari. Let me show you one by one. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Sahih Bukhari, hadith number 2222, which means 42. Sahih al Bukhari, or Sahih Muslim, hadith number 155A. Mm. Okay. Uh, Sahih al Bukhari, uh, 2476. All right. Jami'ut-Turmudi 
حديث نمبر 2233 اوكي ليتس جو اينا اينا في نيد تو شو مور ات از صحيح ناو محمد هي سوير هي سوير ذات ان ذا جادجمنت داي هي سيز باي ذا وان هو از ماي هاند از هيز ماي سول ابن مريم which means the son of Mary shall soon descend does it say there soon do you see the word soon is okay can i just read that because uh you i think you're screw you'll you'll speak it to me before i can see it on the screen all right can i just read okay read it Hold take your time i'm zooming in for you so you can see it better It doesn't, uh, maybe it's because you haven't showed me it yet. It doesn't say that Jesus is going to be judging, you know. It says that. What, what do you want to talk about? It's in front of you. It says, well, by the one judging, hands judging the justly. Do you see it? So soon to set, judging justly. Hmm? So break the cross, kill the pig, remove the Jesus, and walk away so judging justly. Does it not say, uh, Mariam shall soon descend among you, judging, uh, well, judging justly? Yeah, it says that in front of you. Are, you. are you looking at the screen? Are you looking? Everybody can see it. Well, you can see it. Should I give you the, the link? You open it in your browser there? Uh, yes. Please. Okay, here we go. Let me give you the link in Skype. Take a look in your Skype, please. And I will give it to you, actually, to in the text in the chat. There we go. In your Skype. Open it and read for us. Take your time. I the one who handles my soul. I the one who handles my soul. Yes, I can see it. All right. So how Jesus is going to be the judge and what it's mean to be justly? How we can he how we can do that? Nobody can do that. Human, they make errors. So, oh. I need to come back to that one. You like I need to go somewhere and ask my imam. Okay, go and ask your imam. No problem. What, what about you call your imam to call me? What do you think? That would be what, better. What do you call me? Yeah, what about you know? I mean, you you make him call me, that would be better. I don't think he will because he's old. I am old too. No. Yeah. So now look what you said to me. You just admitted that Jesus is perfect. Jesus is no sin. Have no sin. He is he is a sinless. Jesus is going to judge in the judgment day. And he will judge justly. And Jesus wow. is 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 you know. Look what your prophet here said. Actually, here he he made a false prophecy. Did you notice what the false prophecy in the hadith? Do 
Did you notice the false prophecy? No. Your prophet, he said that the Messiah, Yushiko, which means almost, he is coming down very soon, not on like almost in the corner. So this is something Muhammad he prophesied that Jesus is coming down very soon, fourteen hundred years ago. Yeah. Okay. So why why you think this prophecy is not happening? Because judgment day, right? Yeah, but I mean, this is not, he said soon. Do you see the word soon? Actually, in Arabic, it doesn't say soon. It's very, it says almost. Yeah. But it's no, more than you soon. You can't just. You can't say just because he said soon. It's like when Jesus said, uh, "I'll come back soon." Yeah. What Jesus kind of say? Come back soon. It you says. It can't. says in Arabic, my friend. You are reading translation. It says you shukunna, which means it's almost. He's coming down. Almost. Almost. He's there. So it's a false prophecy. Jesus now, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Do, do you see? Okay. Okay. Forget about this. Do, do you see there? Do you see there? Your prophet saying that Jesus. Hold on. Come back soon. That, that does it say there that Jesus will kill the pig? Is it true that Jesus will kill the pig? Does it say that Jesus will kill the pig? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, why? Uh, I guess because uh, we don't eat pigs, so... Guess so, we, you, don't, you don't eat cockroaches too. So why Jesus want to kill the pig? What's the problem with the pig? What's the problem between Allah and the pig? There is a fight between them, there's a problem. What is the problem? It's just a dead animal. So there's many dirty animals. A human beings are dirty too. Don't take a shower for two days; you will kill, you will you will stink. So why why what do you mean dirty animals? All all animals are dirty. We are dirty too. What does that mean? Your prophet he used to have a lot of lice in his head because he's dirty. Uh, pigs don't have lice, don't you know that? They don't have lice. Your prophet have a lot of lice in his head. So, uh, your prophet he used to take a shower in dirty water, have dead dogs, and women of blood from period. Don't, the pigs don't do that. So why why he want to kill the pig? What the problem between Allah and the pig? To find the reason why Isa, this Isa, the Muslim Isa, why he want to wage war against the pig? And which pig? It says a pig. There's one pig. Is that a big pig or something? Is he like a, a powerful pig? Big pig? His sexy pig? What? I'm trying to find out. Know. Do you think this pig is going to be found in, in, in Las Vegas or in Florida in the beach? What the problem? God is sending the most powerful person he have. His name is Asa. And Isa now is going to wage a war, a war against the pig. So do you think the pig is going to have an army too? Or it's just like a cowboy, you know, we see two guys, uh, Isa have, a, have his, uh, his, his, uh, his uh, uh, magnum gun, and the pig he have his gun, and uh, Isa he says to the pig, we count okay. in three, and the first one who shoot, he is the winner. So how, what will happen exactly? How he will kill the pig, do you know? Steam Prince woman. Uh how did if Jesus is God don't don't change topic don't, don't say if you just admitted that he is God the, the word if is not exist no more uh, we just reach we just reach a, a agreement me and you that Jesus is alive he is sinless huh he will come back yeah. he is absolute yeah. judge he will be perfect judge and he is a perfect person and nobody is perfect save God so you do not need to be convinced more that Jesus is God, but now we need to ask a very simple question. Why Jesus want to kill the pig? Why not the donkey? You see, as an example, Muhammad, he said, the enemy of Allah is the mice. The enemy of Allah is the mice. Why Jesus is not going to have a cowboy fight with the mice? Why the pig? What the pig exactly did to Allah? He's an animal like all animals. What the, what is a big deal about the pig? We want to know. What is it special? It's just a bad animal. Why it's bad? Why do you think? 
Why okay, do you, do you know, my friend? Oh, do, you, do you know? Okay, do you have anyone? Listen, listen. What, what's your name again? What, what was your name again? What's your name again? What's your name? Why? No, no, answer my question first. I'm, I'm asking you. I want to call you by your name. I don't want to call you Abdul. Okay, no, okay, Abdul, no problem. Abdul, listen, listen. Do you have any? Do you, do you have? Do you have any? Kashim, okay. Do you have any family member have diabetes? Um, my nan did before she died. Yes. All right. Do you know what the medicine they give to somebody have a diabetes? Well, they give them. They can give them plenty. They can give them all sorts. Yeah, but do you know it's made from what? It's made from pigs. Do you know that? So pigs are very useful for animals, and they 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 save uh, millions of people. Have you ever have a surgery yourself? Do you have a stitches or something? Have you ever have a stitches? Uh, yeah, when I was okay. Do, do you know that the stitches is made from the meat, the skin of the pigs? Do you know that? No, no. Oh yeah, show me. you can go and search it. Don't don't tell me. Show me. You speak English. You know you have a computer. Just search. So okay, pigs, pigs save life. Pigs, pigs they save life. Your prophet kill people. So pig and if we if we say we have a pig and we have Muhammad, which one is better? The pig. Millions of people will die. They have diabetes, but the pig is saving their life. <sighs> Millions, Christians, Jews, Hindus, Muslim doesn't matter. Millions of human beings, they are saved by Mr. Pig. Now, you millions of people die because of Muhammad. So, who is more dangerous, the pig or Muhammad? Muhammad was being just self-defending. What self-defending? What do you mean self-defending? Self what do you mean self-defending? Yeah. I mean, someone attacked okay. him. Hold on, Muhammad. He said, I, Muhammad. He said, the one who changed his religion, kill him. Is that self-defending? Well, if if he obviously didn't want people to be led astray. What? He if I want to leave, people. if I want to leave Islam, is that self-defend? I don't want to be a Muslim. Why he want to kill me? You said this is self-defend, right? Okay, somebody don't want to be a Muslim. Why you want? To, why he will kill him? If it's only self defense, as if he claim. Hmm? Anyway, uh, I'm so glad that you called me. But you know, I want you to try next time to get me your sheikh. You know, call him in the mosque. And tell him that uh, you know you know uh, shakes shakes they will not debate me unless you pay them. So let me tell you what you do. Tell him that you will give him twenty dollars. You know you will you will buy him uh, like uh, uh, a headphone, Bluetooth. You know then he will love to debate me. So you have to promise me something because you know Muslims and you are a Muslim too. They like rewards. They don't do things for free. Like why the Muslims want to do jihad because they want to get a lot of vagina. No, no, no. Did, okay, did your prophet say that Allah will give you 80,000 women? What do you mean, where? What's wrong with you? Each time I say to you something, you say, Where are you born yesterday or what? No, what do you mean, where? Okay, hold on. You didn't answer my question when you said you would answer, by the way. Which one? Which one? If Jesus is God, how could he be tempted by Satan? What it says he tempted by shaitan. Do you know what tempted me? Yes. Okay, you just told me, everybody is laughing at you now. You just told me and everybody heard you that Jesus is sinless. So shaitan, he can try to tempt as many as much as he wish. Still, he is sinless. Let us say, let us say, hold on, hold on, let us say, let us say, Satan, he come to me as a woman and she start doing belly dancing. This is trying, he, you know, he tempting. This is, he is, he's tempting me, right? But I did not commit sin, so Shaitan did not do anything. So the Bible tells us that Shaitan he tried, but it doesn't affect Jesus. And you just admitted that Jesus is sinless, so he's God. Okay, now your prophet he said, Look at this. <clears throat> uh, let us show you the hadith. Uh, blah, 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 uh, 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 uh. 
let's see this one first the prophet said the list of the people of paradise in the position of the one with 80,000 servant and 72 wives yes 72 yes 80,000 no 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 this is the lowest reward my friend 72 is for the bad Muslim it says there the least of people this is not the reward for every Muslim this is the bad the bad yes. Muslim yes. Okay. Yes. so I the know, bad I Muslim know. the bad Muslim will get 72 wives and save and 80,000 little boys to serve him according to this what does it say little boys in the Quran it says boys where what do you mean we are I don't know I have I I am suspecting that you are a, a you uh, you are a Shia I don't know no I just think you're making lies there's no say no boys hmm. all right they're not gonna be virgin boys okay here we go you see it it says we are too him chapter 52 verse number 24 and this is the translation of prophet Yusuf Ali so what do you say you told me there is not such a thing it says this is a translation of Yusuf Ali young male servants handsome as pearls well guarded <laughs> So they are young boys, all right? If we go to different interpretation, yeah. translation, the guy is gone. Guys, this, this, does it say here, shall go boys? This Does it say boys? Boys, sexy boys, pretty boys. <laughs> Even in the heaven of Islam, there is a slavery. But you see guys, when you when you speak to Muslims they cannot run away from the truth here we go we made them admit let us get the conclusion of this conversation with this Abdul Jerusalem and Israel is the land of the Jews that's wonderful Jesus is sinless Jesus is perfect Muhammad is sinner this is his mission according to what he said this is what he said the mission of Jesus to be sinless is the perfect person but there's no perfect save God every human being make mistakes and do sin even Muhammad said every son of an Adam is a sinner but Jesus is not the son of an Adam for he is not born of Adam he is from above as the Quran described him as the Word of God sent down to Mary so the Word of God became a man and that man is a perfect man for he is the perfect God in the form of a man this is why he have no sin he have no errors he have no faults and he admitted that Jesus will not go to judgment day to be judged and not only that we showed him from the hadith how Jesus in the judgment day at the end of the time he will come he will come back he will descend down actually not come back which means he's now in heaven he, this is where his house now according to Muslims the house of Jesus as we speak is the house of God Everybody is dead. Muhammad himself is dead. Jesus is in heaven watching us. And yet the Abdul, they are asking you to prove that Jesus is God. If you are a new person in our channel, don't forget to subscribe. And by the way, guys, during, the time I, during my trip, uh, which is going to start this month, I will still post uh, videos but I might not be able to make a live video if I don't have a good speed internet so we will see all right but I promise you that every day at 4 30 every day in the schedule my most day is going to be maybe Friday if I can do on Wednesday oh, we will see uh, you will receive videos during the time I am away and you will I will not leave you alone however I will be back anyway and we will have more good time together and if there is any Muslim he have the courage and the knowledge to stand for me I will be happy to take him and as you notice I go down to the level of the Muslims it depends if you are a scholar I go 
you know we talk as we talk as a scholars if you are a person do not know much I will go down speak to you as if you're a kid if you're an old man I will speak to you as an old man if you are a kid I will speak to you as a kid however there is no Muslim can answer questions for Islam is very dumb stupid religion a person who believes that God is going to give an endless penis cannot be a human being who have a brain he is obviously under the is possessed or he is uh, under the influence of drugs a person who believes that God is a pimp he provides vaginas nobody touch and they have zero mileage obviously he have mental issue for this is not a job of God God is not a pimp from Las Vegas if somebody believe that God is working in the cosmetic of women right now as we speak and he is making the skin of a woman smooth and will take him 1,000 years to smooth the skin of a woman. Obviously, this God, he is very slow. He is a turtle. If every woman will take this God 1,000 years to smooth her skin, I wonder, if she made it from the skin of alligator? What kind of a skin this skin is? Doesn't make sense. 1,000 years. I mean, come on, just go and buy a few grams of Nivea and that is going to work. Hello? A plastic surgery will take five minutes. 1,000 years for Allah to make her skin smooth. Why? And what does that mean? Allah, he created her from concrete and then he is going to make a mistake. You want to fix it? So if you, if you, you know, if you take uh, uh, the statement Muhammad he say you will find that it's a chain of madness and stupidity and nothing there makes sense this is cannot be a prophet of God speaking this is a guy he is uh, you know is is, is making uh, uh, stupid statements all over God don't speak in such a stupid way God is wise If man can be wise, how about God? He is wise than anyone. He's the wiser. He is the source of everything. So it doesn't make sense. God, he promised me that I am going to have, uh, you know, a woman, and this woman, she is going to sing for me. So what? What does that mean? And this woman, she is going to curse my wife in earth. Like what? She will curse my wife in earth because she is not being nice to me. I mean, is that serious? Or this is a joke? I like those pictures, you know. I find them fantastic. My friend, God is not a pimp. And he don't say stupid things like women she have a sperm and her sperm is coming from her ribs and the only reason until now i'm not married because i am afraid that i will get a wife and then a sperm she will, will come from her ribs i mean i will jump from my bed and i will commit suicide i will jump from the balcony this is gonna be god a God who says that the man have a sperm and his sperm coming from the backbone. What the backbone have to do with, sper with sperm? How are you, my friend? I, I just want to say. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to look into it more. All right. So uh, let me uh, before you go. Uh, look, uh, uh, just a sim simple question: What do you think about God uh, will make us very powerful in the bedroom in the heaven? What do you think about that? Uh, what? Uh, Allah, He will make us very horny in the heaven, and the man He will have a power of forty men in heaven. Oh, sorry, one hundred men. What do you think about that? I mean, why why Allah want to increase? My sexual desire to be like 100 horse or donkey. Uh, I don't know. 
Okay, do you like to have sex with 100 women in the, a day? Uh, no. What about 99? No. 77? No. So are you saying that your God Allah has given you promises you don't like? I don't know. I'm just going to check, you know. All right. But I'm asking you, why, if you don't like to have those women, why Allah is making no choice, but he will give it to you because this is a promise. If you don't like it, if you don't like this heaven, obviously in the heaven, as long as you don't like sex, those women, they are going to rape you. According to the, according to the Muslim stories, when you enter the heaven, you enter your bedroom, the women, they will jump on you. One of them, she will put her mouth in, you know, and the other one, she will put her mouth in, uh, you know, and the other mouth, she will put her tongue on, you know, and you know, like you will be raped. So why you want to go there? Do you like to because be, be I'm honest with me, do you like to be raped by women? No. So what kind of heaven is heaven? This is not heaven no more. Heaven is a place you enjoy. What's your definition of heaven? Well, heaven is a place where you enjoy happiness. Not sex. What brings you happiness? You know, the the one, the Almighty who made me, He can provide me happiness, as Jesus. He said, He and she, they will not be getting married. They will be the same as angels. What does that mean? It means He will free me from my needs. Number one reason for a human being is not happy, that he is needy. He need to eat. He need to sleep. He need get tired. He get sick. So the needs of being healthy, the needs of staying young, the needs of uh, uh, staying uh, need money, the need of to pay for your bills, those are needs, and they are not making you happy. So all those needs make you a slave of needs. So what God will do, He will free you from your needs. So in heaven, Even if, if in heaven you will be living the same as angels, well, you will not be an angel. You will be the same as angels, which means you are free from all your needs. You are above the needs. You are free. So you will be called the child of God who is free from any kind of a slavery. You will not be sex addicted. You will not be food addicted. You will not be sleep addicted. You will not be sick. You will not be hungry. You will not need money. And nobody can abuse you. And nobody can use you. And nobody, because money and those things is the source of evil. So God will free you from your needs. And then you will know what happiness means. For you will live with God, and you are free, and you live for eternity. According to Muhammad, he will make you a slave. He will make you slave of sex again. And now, not only again, he will make you more slave, addicted to sex, to the point all day long you are doing nothing except having sex. Even Muhammad, he said that a Muslim man will have orgasm for 70 years. 70 years orgasm you know i like to have orgasm for like 69 years but 70 i think this is too much honestly do you think do you think it's it's good to have orgasm for 70 years kashem uh no why no why no you don't like 70 what about 50 years like imagine your grandma, she come to visit you at home and she knock at the door and she hear you behind the door having orgasm. She come the next year. She come again, she hear you still having orgasm. She come the third year, fifth year, seven year, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, six, six, you know, 60 years, 63 years, seven, 67 years, and still you are having orgasm. And then after seven years, you open the door for your grandmother and you say to her, sorry, I was having orgasm. What do you think? Think about it. Think about it. Anyway, thank you, my friend, for calling. Uh, I advise you to let your uh, your shake to call me. Uh, we will be here again. Today is Wednesday. We will be here again at Friday uh, at four thirty okay. p.m. So feel free to call us. All right. Okay. And thank you for yeah. calling. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, I hope you guys you have a good time with us, and. I pray that this Muslim, he will think carefully about what he said and what he learned. Islam, when I say Islam is a stupid religion, I don't mean to insult. I'm just saying what I believe. This is a stupid religion. Based on fiction stories, collection of stories, 
some from the Jews, some from the Hindus, some from the Buddhas, some from everybody. In the same time, it teach not uh, three some six. It teach seventy two some six. And this is the lowest seventy two some six, which means you can have endless number of women, and all of them they are having sex with you in the same room, in the same time. It's stupid, disgusting. It doesn't make sense. In the same time. The Muslim they say to you that Allah will provide the Muslim man in heaven women he will take out of their jealousy from them what does that mean they are six toys they have no feeling do you know how disgusting this statement is that Allah will take their jealousy out of their from their heart they are like what Robert machine uh, six toys the only way for a person will not have jealousy is not to be living is to be dead their bed their dead their, their body is alive but their soul is dead they are like animals they don't care you see even animals they defend their you know their females they fight over them allah in the heaven of islam he will take the jealousy from the female so they will not cause the problem problems for the husband for he is going to have sex with everybody i mean how how disgusting that is we will have a human in this heaven they are designated and made especially for sex women they are made for nothing except sex they have no feeling they have no heart they have no jealousy they have no thinking all what they will do is to have sex with you how that can be from God how anyone in the world can believe in such a God unless he have a perverted mind If you know a Muslim, he is willing to debate us, please feel free to contact him. You do not need to set up a time. Let him call me. As you see, our phone line in Skype is always open. And people, they can call. You do not need to set up next week and this week. Call anytime. And you are the one who... Tell us what you want to say. Feel free. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. And if you are old... Don't forget to unsubscribe. So next time you subscribe, you feel excited. For Allah will give you versions each time you do it. Allah told me and he inspired me to tell you that. For I am the messenger of Allah. And I know things nobody knows. Let me tell you something will happen to prove that I am a prophet of Allah. Tomorrow, there is somebody is going to have an accident in the highway. And tomorrow, actually now, now as we speak there's a woman she is having her period how I know that how I know that impossible unless Allah told me and this is exactly who is Muhammad a prophet who have no prophecy no miracles nothing and all his teaching is focusing in his penis his testicles and his pocket and his belly that is Muhammad so if you are a fool you follow the man his name is Muhammad if you are a smart person as we heard from the Muslim he said that Jesus is sinless and Muhammad is a sinner so only fool they follow the sinner and they refuse to follow the sinless that is my Lord Thank you for listening. See you again this coming Friday at 4.30 p.m. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And I mean to that. Bye-bye.